Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to another coverage of ETF2L's Season 15 Highlander brought to you by Critscast. Tonight we will be casting the High Division semi-finals while we await for the uh, much-awaited uh, Prem finals to be scheduled. The long-standing team Ugandan Pizza Police will be taking on the fresh roster known as Lil Team. Will the Pizza Squad finally have what it takes to make it to a high final after an outstanding eight consistent seasons? Or will Little Team snatch the title along with Redwood's hopes and dreams of becoming a recognised Premiership player? My name is Chando. We have We Are Hoofed on Production and I'm joined here for the first and hopefully one of many casts by Gamma. Gamma, there's a number of highly esteemed, play esteemed players here tonight. You think we're in for a good match? Uh, certainly, I think so. Um, as you say yourself, Ugandan Pizza Police are a very well-established team. They're definitely going to want to take their spot maybe in Premiership, get into that grand final by beating Little Team, but there's some a lot. There's a lot of really good players on Little Team too. We're going to be in for a pretty damn good game, I think. Definitely in for a tree here. I mean, yeah, some of these players from Little Team, it is a bit of a, a mixed roster, you could say. It's their first season uh, playing together. Um, I don't know if they'll be sticking around anymore. I guess it depends how well they do in the next few matches. But, I mean, yeah, there's some big names. We've got Ace uh, playing on Heavy, um, who's played in Prem already. Um, we've got, who else we got here? We've got Foz. Uh, he do, I think he came second in the Copenhagen Games um, LAN event. Uh, on Soldier, uh, playing for another mixed team, Genji, check my win rate or something like that. Um, he was astounding in in uh, in in LAN, uh, so he'll be doing really well. We've also got um, Oli stepping in for them as well. He was, he's was he been stepping up. He did really well at LAN as well. He's been doing really well all season as well. Uh, Demos has been playing in top, top tier demo man in both Sixes and Highlander. So, I mean, huge names there tonight, but again, the Pizza Police, I think they've got a very dedicated mindset. Redwood is so keen to finally get somewhere. Um, and I really hope that uh, he can for his sake. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, do you want to maybe go have a little rundown of the Pizza Police roster? If there's any big names you can see. Yeah, of course. Um, I've seen Nebula on Spy, obviously, is a very well known spy main. Fundo, I played with him a few seasons back. He's a cracking sniper, and I'm glad to see him get a go, maybe at getting into Premiership and to see him here in the high semi-finals. Redwood, of course, you said, excellent player. He's been knocking on the door for a while. Ixo on Pyro, great flank and shader in 31, and Ripe on Heavy, Jusa on NG, and the ever-present Seb on Medic, who's been with Pizza Police since the very beginning. Well, he has, yes. He's very committed Medic. Um, to be able to hold out for eight seasons non-stop playing Medic um, for a team that has taken its sweet time to finally get where they want to be. Um, they've been done around sort of in, in mid for a while. They were top mid for a long time, way, way back, a few years ago now. Um, then sort of made that jump into high and struggled getting anywhere. They finally, I think it was two seasons ago, made it to the um, semi-finals um, like we're seeing tonight. But they uh, lost out to whoever it was they were playing, um, which was a shame. Uh, so they went away with third place here, so I'm sure they're going to be wanting to improve on that. Um, and then last season, going back into mid and coming second again. So yet to take a first place. Um, but, uh, this 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 could be the season. Um, we'll have a quick rundown of the maps as well. So as you can currently see on your screens at the moment uh, is the uh, Koth product, the famous or infamous, depending on your outlook, uh, Highlander map. Um, Gamma, you want to run down the other maps? Uh, then there's Gullywash on the second map, picked by Redwood for Ugandan Pizza Police. Very interesting pick there. Says a lot about maybe the, the team play that they're expecting to have. And then Cold Plant was the final pick for Lil Team. Uh, DM heavy map, lots of sniper sidelines. I often find these map picks very interesting because they kind of say a lot about what each team thinks are their relative strengths. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these maps are going to come down to DM. Um, haven't been seeing the the payloads, notorious Highlander game mode, um, as much as we used to. I think a lot of uh, Highlanders evolved a bit now, um, a lot more DM based, um, and both these teams should be suiting to that. Um, especially, I would say that it would be Lil Team's roster, especially considering they've only had one season um, of playtime together. Um, these DM maps are going to sort of work a treat for them, especially with uh, the likes of Demos. Oli, um, Foz, the, one, the ones I already mentioned, really. Um, they're just insane DM players at the moment. They're really turning up the damage. Um, so I would perhaps tip 
the balance for them. But the uh, the gully wash pick as well, as you said, by Redwood, uh, could definitely go in favour of Pizza Police. There, uh, there's there's a lot of you know good momentum, making good pushes is something that only really happens as a team can evolve together. And um, Pizza Police, you know, love them or hate them, they've spent a lot of time together, uh, especially sort of 31 Shades. Um, Redwood and um, Seb, as we mentioned. Uh, so they've got that synergy, they've got that cohesion, um, and I think that could really work in their favour. As well as that, you know, they do have the DM too. They certainly can compete on product and cold plant. Players like Nebula and Redwood, of course, they're definitely well up there in the DM sticks. And to be honest with you, this this could easily go 2-0 towards you got Pizza Police. Obviously, product will tell us a lot about how teams are the teams are confidence-wise when it comes to their DM, and it might actually predict if we do go to the third map, which team is likely to win Cold Plant, because you know the style of play required to win both maps is pretty much identical. Mm. So, so who, who's, uh, who's on your predictions then for taking this? Oh, I think I'd have to go with Ugandan Pizza Police. I think experience will rule out over raw ability here, perhaps. Ooh, well, I think that's going to make it interesting then, because uh, I'm going to be going with um, Lil Team. Um, just on the account of some of the big DM names and the fact that product, um, I mean, Demos can absolutely tear up this map. Uh, I've seen it in Sixes, I've seen it in Highlander, and I think tonight's going to be no different. Ollie as well can just go absolutely ham on a cough map. Um, I mean, it's fair, I, I, I haven't seen Fundo for many seasons. Um, I haven't played with him back. I used to play with him back when I was in mid, and you know, I haven't seen him sort of evolve as a sniper. So uh, I might be. Uh, I might be pleasantly surprised. I do hope so, but I've seen Ollie just absolutely tear it up. Uh, he was tearing up in Copenhagen uh, about a month ago, and he's been tearing up all season. Uh, so I, I've I've got big hopes for my little team boys who are going to be playing uh, probably in the red. Um, but we should be going live fairly shortly here. So anyone who's just tuning in now, this is the ETF2L Season 15 High Semi-Finals. Um, brought to you by Critzcast. And um, yeah, so Uganda Pete's Police versus... Uh, little team here and uh, we're just waiting for the guys to ready up now but um you know we give us a little bit of time here we can uh, maybe uh, go into depth about the team that they might be facing i'll just try and get the the playoff um Ooh. tree up oh we're going um, live actually it seems oh, we are going we're out of time oh, we haven't got time well they will be playing Tourette's french club which is probably no surprise to anyone um they have absolutely just had a flawless season um but yeah here we go ladies and gentlemen uh, as we go into this first round of Koth products, we're going to see it is uh, the Red Demo Man, Demos, getting to mid so much quicker. I don't even know where Red is. Oh, there he is. He's coming up um, on the cliff side there, um, pounding the damage there. 31 getting that early frag onto the sentry gun, but no picks so far. Pretty passive mid from both teams. It's just Juicer trying to commit a little bit to there. Finally, Sis goes down and Sacrilege trades as well. Ixo gets his head blown off as, as well there. Uh, so. Uh, looking fairly favourable for either team at the moment as Austin actually gets backstabbed by Nebula. Uh, There's stabs coming left, right and centre at the moment here, but it looks like this is going to go in favour of the team. That was a very, very patient mid so far. It's not over yet, though. Juicer just walking across the point and the spam coming off from the side from 31. And actually, with the heels, they're just going to step onto the point, take the ground and take the point. I was going to say that was a very that would have been a very patient mid coming from uh, Lil team. But maybe a little bit too patient. They didn't take the ground that was being offered. I think so. They certainly had the uh, the player advantage there, but they do make that bubble bomb and get the force out from Seb. Nice follow up there from Foz. Gets that Uber and popped off. Um, so that's going to give um, Austin about a 40 odd percent advantage to work with, which is more than enough there. As Ollie gets a nice snipe on Red, will be maybe looking at a drive push here. It's really up to Lil Team now to decide how confident they want to be with these pushes, how aggressive. Because um, a drive push could really work here. So Nebula takes that stab onto Ollie there, punishing him for taking out uh, their demo man. But uh, now they're in a good position to push here. Thunder goes down. They have to worry about that sniper sideline for now. Um, and finally getting some players on point as Lil Pudis guy uh, falling very weak there. Uh, but uh, at the same time, Uganda Pizza Police are giving everything they can give to try and hang on to the point here. Ixo does fall, however. Now someone just needs to hop onto that point. They can easily cap it. Finally, Demos plonks himself onto there with the help of Sun, and they're able to reclaim it. 
Yeah, they were just trying to buy some time there. Ugandan beats the police for Seb maybe to cup onto the Uber. But rather crucially, they didn't force Austin to pop in order to take over that point. So now they're going to have to get an Uber trade scenario. And you can see Austin is playing quite far back, ready and willing to counter Uber. And now, now the Uber's come in for Pizza Police. But a very late pop coming out from Austin, but he's dropped a lot of players in his entire combo essentially. But in comes with the scout and the pirate just to push them back off the point, but they're not getting any significant frags. The Ixo can just walk onto the point with his medic, and they're going to get this point back. Very good Uber trade. Yeah, really well played there by Pisa Police. And also, a bit disappointing from Austin, um, as he kind of used it, as you said, a little bit too late there. He lost his down man and heavy, but uh, Seb went down in the aftermath of there. I think he was backstabbed by uh, Spoo. Um, so that's a bit, really big opening now for uh, Austin to have another shot. Uh, retaking the points here. Nebula in a brilliant position, finds that frag onto Ollie just as uh, Fundo goes down to the spy as well. Uh, so many frags at the moment, Demos manages to find the hick onto Nebula there and they are going to try and commit to this dry push again. A bit of deja vu coming in here perhaps, finally plonking themselves into the point. Nice bomb by 31, gets one rocket, gets the second as well, taking down Austin and finding F off casters. No change now in the process. Who, no, who knows who that is, but he's down as well as Ollie gets the frag, revenge frag onto Sebastian. Um, and I mean, so many frags back and forth. I don't think that uh, Lil Team can really commit to this. Sun falls as well, and they are gonna have to take a different crack at this. It was very crucial there when 31 went in. It was an excellent bomb, but it was followed up with some nice damage in the back lines from, Red from Redwood and the rank of mini sentry actually. Doing a lot of work here on this right hand side, but it was that was all about that bomb. Got a huge amount of damage off and then the frags are cleaned up. Yeah, very well played there. Foz putting in some mad damage by the cliff there. They did actually manage to take that point, but uh, they got to hang on to it for a while. While you get pizza, please. They only have 30 seconds left, so one good push here, and they could be uh, taking this first round. Um, but it's still in control of the little team there. Uh, they need to maybe set up, get some, get some hills in. Sorry, um, Uber-wise, they are sitting on a good advantage as well. But they really need to. Uh, defend this because it looks like Pizza Police are wasting no time. The Spoo comes in with a nice back step onto X, so Shades goes down as well and Uber's popped off. Deimos is taking the lead there, but he doesn't want to overcommit to it and I think that's a good decision by him. They're going to fall back. They're taking this passive approach here. I'm not sure if it's working. Maybe it's finally just starting to uh, work out for them as uh, Nebula and Thunder both go down. That's no pit classes now for Pizza Police. Pushing a little bit more aggressive. They've got those frags now. They get Juicer. They get 31 as well. Frags are coming in for them. Can afford to play a little bit more aggressive with Demos playing on the point, but uh, I mean, do you think that this sort of more passive playstyle is going to be working out for them now? I mean, it's going to work out for them by virtue of the fact that Seb doesn't actually have a massive Uber advantage despite having that Uber popped off by Austin. But they're going to take an aggressive put play here and just walk onto the point. They're going to get punished from it by little Puda's guy coming in from the side, just trying to clean them up. Gets Nebula as Nebula is looking for Austin's back. Can't get a 31, gets cleaned up by Ollie. This patient approach, you know, they tried to come up to the point and they were just picked off one by one. They were indeed not the best push you need, especially while the timer is uh, ticking down at the moment. Uh, with uh, Lil Team now only got to sell there for another 45 seconds. Uber comes out. They lose, uh, lose Spoo and Sacrilege before the Uber is popped by Lil Team there. Uh, but they're finally getting some frags and they find Juice. So actually, I say that's. That is it. That is the only thing they find. They do find Nebula as well, but uh, they lost so many players, important players at that. They lose Oli and Demos as well. It's just Austin. I don't know, he needs to try and back out. What is he doing, that man? Just run away, dude. Finally making the right decision to back off a little bit there. Regroup with his team. Uh, they've only got to do 20 seconds. It's still anyone's game. Very well reclaimed by Lil Team, but this next push is going to be crucial, knowing whether they can take this first round or not. He finds his way uh, catching up with uh, Ace, his little Puris guy on Heavy there. And now they're ready for this dry push again. Um, no Uber. Uh, Sorry, Uber advantage, but I don't know if they're really going to have enough time. There only 10 seconds left. Finally getting some players on the point there. Ixo is so weak, falls down, but they lose Austin in the process. Nice pipe there by Redwood. Again, lots of players on the point. Collapse onto it. Really well done there. Only 15 seconds now for them. And you get the pizza, please. I didn't even see how it happened, but they lost so many players. Sebastian's not going to have his Uber in time, uh, but Austin is going to struggle to be up there to give us hills as well. Still anyone's game there. The 31 comes in with a bomb. Complete denied by Sacrilege. Sacrilege doing so much work in, in uh, denial there. And now Demos, with the help of Sun, pounding the damage. But it's not enough. You can peace please putting in loads of players onto the point there. Two seconds left. Can anyone get there on time? It's going to be Fozzy does his best, but it's not enough. And, get, and Peace of Police are going to take the first round. Nailed by Tony Coast there, Gamma.
That was incredible. Just, I often say this, medics dying left, right, and center. Everyone just playing around low heels, dodging, getting as much DM as they possibly could get in. And interestingly, Ugandan pizza police get the better of that. It's really quite something. Yeah, very well done there. Very well back and forth. The little team uh, definitely having a stronger presence in the latter half of that round. Um, so we might be seeing a uh, improved hold from them and maybe some closer um, match as well. Demos instantly going down. No one paying attention to Nebula there, who has just been absolutely on fire so far uh, in terms of frags, getting the right frags at the right time. So that's going to open up a big opportunity for uh, the Pizza Police there as Redwood leads the charge on the point now. No one can really defend it. They haven't got a demo man. It was just so crucial on that on that on that mid fight, as you know. That they're gonna have to back this up. Both medics holding on to their Ubers, holding on to their lives. Oli getting that onto Fundo. Um, seems to be more or less carrying his team at the moment, um, as I expected there. As he picks off Juicer as well, absolutely shredding it at the moment there. And uh, now they can commit to this Reaper where They find the Uber uh, by Redwood, countered by Austin. Now Demo with a much much better Uber here as they just storm back across the point. They should be able to take this now. Um, yeah, really well played there by. Um, little team basing, basing out that early Uber by um, Sebastian and um, countering very nicely. Keeping Sebastian alive was very important there after that poor Uber. I mean, they lose the point, but at least they don't lose their medic. They're a little bit behind an Uber, but you know, this can be rectified. They're not, they shouldn't lose too much time here if they play it right. The story so far for me has just been Ollie has been absolutely pounding left, right, and center. Everyone just seems to be falling to him, and they're going to need to do something about it soon. Absolutely, they do actually uh, finding some time on to point now, but they are losing players at the same time. Uh, they do lose um, Shades and Fundo, and uh, now uh, it could be in a good position for a repush here, but there's no real uber advantage at the same time. Little team, I don't feel like they gave it enough effort on that defense there, and uh, they have had to back up just on that right side at the moment, waiting for the opportunity to push in, waiting for good damage or the good picks to come in. Uh, but Oli is providing those, as you said, he's just been doing so much work there. As I say that, actually, Fundo gets a nice little frag onto Ace there as Demos comes in, finds 31, finds Nebula as well. Sebastian gets picked off by Oli. What an absolute god. Uh, surely they can make this push happen now as Redwood and Sis both go down now. They've just got to deal with Ixo. they got to deal with Juicer as he went down straight away. Ixo down as well. Demos finding shape. That's almost a wipe just though on the respawn there. And uh, you really well played. Good DM uh, uh, outcome there by your team. Yeah, I like the fact that, you know, they recognized they were going to lose the point. They've got lo lots of time. They just had everyone except Fundo plus Ford onto the point and see if they could get any picks. It's unfortunate that they couldn't, but, you know, they got a lot of time out of that vault. I think they'll be quite happy nonetheless. They do have that massive uber disadvantage, though, because of Ollie again, as you say, being a god. But it's going to be down to now if they can get Austin with Nebula or Fundo, perhaps, or a good bomb from 31, who just gets backstabbed by Spoo, as I say that. But Nebula gets Austin! And that's exactly what I was saying they needed to get done. Yeah, they're perfectly in the driving seat for a good push here now. Um, little team also really overcutted their, their flank there. The flank playing all the way up in the enemy's grass area. Um, not really too sure why they need to get to that. But uh, now they are paying for it heavily as uh, Lil Purse guy goes down. A bomb from Foz comes in trying to make something, but he gets found by Juice's sentry. He's now running the uh, the level 1s at the moment, so he should be seeing a level 3 setup once they take this point. I wish they already have even so um yeah really really good plays there by nebula i mean we were talking about ollie is like an insane pick class but nebula on the other team as well has been doing everything for his team i would say gang os he must have like the most frags on medic at the moment uh, just doing so much work there he finds little poor guy he manages to pistol down ollie as well uh, there's nothing this man cannot do it does go down to foz but the damage has been done and they can't really uh, even put much damage on now. The aggression from Uganda Peace Police comes out as they use an aggressive Uber. They've got to try and find Austin though. He's just beelining it back. Chased by Redwood and Sis, but they can't overcommit to it. They don't, they don't want to risk losing the players there. They've only got to hold off for another minute. And they're in a very good position here. Ixo playing up on the uh, on the Battlements area, uh, Japan, uh, China, sorry. Um, which is a very nice spot for Heavy there uh, in this aggressive area. I don't think anyone's even noticed him yet as he finds Ollie. He might be able to find Demos. Yes, he does with the help of 31. Aggression comes in, gets the scout as well. Nice aggressive play there by Ixo. They're making absolute mincemeat of little team. And any attempt for them to try and recapsize on this point is becoming uh, a thing of the past. 
I really like this uh, level 3 or well, level 1 sentries coming out from Jusa. I think they could have actually played that more passively, built up a level 2 or level 3 sentry behind the point and used that super advantage to try and... Oh, Fundo gets, <laughs> gets Ace and Austin finally finding his groove perhaps. This might actually just slow down any attempt from Ill-Team to get back in, but Foz getting onto the point, spamming out anyone he possibly can find. Good flank coming out from Sacrilege, but he gets killed, and everyone just getting cleaned up by the Heavy in level 1 Sentry. Good plays from Juicer. I was going to say, that G play was just nuts, wasn't it? I mean, he, he, think he found 5 kills as they were just all trying to rush for the point there. A level 1 just absolutely destroying 4 of them in his rescue range, taking down another one there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the real power of that of the engineer on this map um, has not gone unnoticed here and Juicer really destroying it now 2-0 to Pizza Police not looking too great for Lil Team didn't have quite the uh, the second round that I think they were expecting Foz with a really good bomb there behind enemy lines finding the pack we'll be seeing if he can make anything of it meanwhile on the front lines um, aggression coming out from Lil Team here as uh, Lil Puris guy on the, on the uh, left side gets found out taken down in the heavy 1v1 there, frags back and forth, but it is going in favor of Lil Team. Ollie finds Fundo, Shade's going down as well, and uh, it's just Sis and Redwood up. They can't take this alone. Scout finds Sis, can he find Redwood as well? Maybe, Redwood goes for the ham, can't find connecting slap, and he goes down as well there. Uh, really well played there by Lil Team, a good distraction play by Foz on the back lines, and uh, it's just some good raw aggression. I think that's what they're going to be needing. So they've got the DM potential. They just need to be a little bit more stubborn, a little more aggressive. I think they could take this. They should play off bombs like that from Foz a lot more because he drew three or four players back and killed Jusa. And then it was easy for Demos to just walk across the point. There was no one left to contest him, really. But at the same time, Nebula came in and gunned down two people in the back lines. So they're always going to have to watch out for that with this aggressive play when they're plus forwarding like that. Nebula's going to be waiting for them, you've got to feel. Quite right there. And uh, not best push um, or defense, I should say, from. Little team there, they quite easily lose the point. Now Demos overextending a little bit, has to back up. And uh, there's some just some generally like the, the, the defense of Pizza Police is just so much better. It seems the little team, every time they see like a hint of aggression coming out from Pizza Police, they just back right up. They give them the space. I don't think that's the right way to, to be to be dealing with a team like uh, again, Pizza Police there. Demos falls to Fundo, who uh, in this latter half of the match certainly has uh, stepped up significantly there. Um, as he finds another frag onto uh, Ollie, um, finally also winning those, one, those sniper 1v1s a little bit. Lil Puris guy going down as well, along with Foz, along with uh, the Scout. And I mean, yeah, just like they just they seem to be feeding a lot of players there. Austin another nice too. headshot by Fundo. Yeah, you're right there. Austin down as well. I mean, yeah, it seems like the tables have turned in, in terms of these uh, snipers here. Fundo now completely tearing up. I've got to wonder if maybe he had time for a warm-up or something because he's quite clearly starting to pop off the shots a bit now that he's had a bit of time to play. He's certainly turning up in this latter half of the map, getting all the important kills at the right time. Quite right there. I mean, now it's such a little team to really make a much better impression here. Sacrilege on the flank, actually getting out some good damage now. The bomb from Foz on the follow-up. Um, they do find the uber Sebastian has to use there. But Ace is completely out of position. Can he make it work, though? Probably not. I mean, so many players are just behind enemy lines, almost too many. Uh, they do lose Ace. But they do manage to find Sis and Redwood, so it might have been a much smarter play than I was first thinking there. Um, kind of, They kind of used the uber, and they had to back up to deal with the players. And they had Fog, they had Scout, and they had uh, the Heavy as all playing behind the uber and they had to sort of u-turn on themselves and uh, waste that uber and then they lost a load of players there so uh, it was a good decision there by the flank um, i think maybe ace was just in the right place at the right time though i don't think he was maybe no knew what he was doing probably there, but, um, wasn't nonetheless out here, but, but we'll say that we'll say that you know that was that was a, a high iq play there at the very least. <laughs> I guess he deserves that, but the uh, repush is imminent from Peace Police. This is one thing that we've been seeing all matches that they just they don't care about sort of dying as much as Lil Team do. They just commit to a push, and half the time it works for them. It's just case in point. They just took the point there without any real problems at all. They just stormed onto the point, and it works in their favour. Uh, it might not last for so long as uh, the Scout on the back line is doing quite a lot of work there, along with uh, along with Demos and uh, uh, Spoo as well. They're getting a lot of frags at the moment, um, so the uh, repush and the capitalization by uh, Lil Team was inevitable there. 
Um, but with only a minute left for Pizza Police, it's still looking quite good for them. Yeah, Tomas was on a five kill streak there at one point. One of the kills being uh, Seb at the end of that weird push release, getting behind them. But he almost got Seb again. Seb lived, now here's the Uber that he held on to. Trying to get what he can, he's getting bounced around all over the place. Redwood can't really get any significant damage off, except for getting sentry gun, perhaps. They're not even really taking ground. He's trying to walk forward as best he can. Ixo walking up this cliffside, getting a huge amount of damage onto Demo. So he'll get cleaned up by that gun. The bomb coming in though from from 30, from 30. Oh, not 31. From Foz gets cleaned up by Shader, and now point again gets back to Uganda Pizza Police. The little team not holding on to it for very long at all. Absolutely not, though. It's a very back and forth uh, match. I mean, even though it's 2 0, Matt, uh, each round been a lot closer than uh, perhaps one meets the eye there. Ooh, Nebula very nearly finding Austin's back there, but uh, turned around just in time. I thought maybe a trick stab was, was due there, but alas, Austin makes it out with his life and his 70% Uber. Meanwhile, Sebastian uh, holding about the same on 65. Now they want to make this push work. They really have to if they want to redeem this this map. Oh, Fundo uh, gets Austin, Austin however, though. Yeah, the body shot onto Austin takes him down. No poo is Sky Spoo. All dead as well. Sacrilege falling. Uh, they just can't really make this push work. And now with 13 seconds left, I don't know if it's going to be possible. We've got Foz sort of just jumping around on their concrete there. He gets found out by Shades. And it's all up to Sun. Can he do it? 1v9. I've seen crazier things, but uh, he's instantly taken down by Shades there. Uber comes out from Pizza Police. And this game completely gobbled up. And that is going to do it in a 3-0 game. And the first map goes to Ugandan Pizza Police. I didn't think that they... I mean, the scoreline says one thing, but the gameplay will tell you something else. It was quite an even game. But I didn't expect Pizza Police to get this 3-0. I really did think Little Team would get a few more rounds in there. But I think what we saw there was the benefit of having a team that's played together for a lot of seasons versus a team that's just good players. Because, you know, the defensive coordination of Pizza Police was just so much more excellent than Lil Team. And the pushing capabilities, Lil Team just couldn't seem to hold on to the point for longer than half a minute at a time. And it's very hard to win a cut map if you can't hold on to the point for, you know, a significant portion of time for some at some point during the game. Oh, well, I definitely have to agree with that. I mean, it's, uh, it's disappointing. For me, from uh, from a low team, I, I I invested such high hopes in, um, with some you know big DM lords there, but uh, it wasn't quite enough, as you said. The cohesion of uh, Pizza Police prevailed. Um, we'll quickly jump into some logs now before we go through to the next map. Um, so I've got them up right now. And uh, first thing that's sort of standing out there, um, you should be seeing them very shortly. Um, but shades, um, wow, absolutely tearing up. I didn't really even talk about shades. That should be fair. Um, I don't really know where the kills came from, because um, um, at the same time they were they were there, thirty-one to thirteen. Um, and that's insane, actually. To be fair, um, Ollie coming in next, uh, twenty-seven to fourteen. Uh, so yeah, I mean we was, we were talking about Ollie a lot more, however, and yeah, I mean five hundred fifty-seven DPM is pretty nuts. Uh, his kills are absolutely insane. Um, good amount of headshots. Uh, what more is there to say about it? I mean, not much really, other than Fundo really recovered in the second half of that game to get a positive KD. He was absolutely nowhere near it after that first round, getting absolutely slammed from all quarters, basically. But he was so important to their, um, to their not their comeback, but their later dominance of later rounds. Nebula, of course, getting some really crucial picks, some massive damage coming out from Redwood and Demosta alike, really putting out a lot of the damage. But I think the key thing really is Shade clearing up the damage being made by the other players on his team. Definitely, yeah. So some good you know, going on by Shades there. He was in the right place at the right time. And as you said, you know, he works so well with his combo. He knows exactly how to um, work around Redwood and work around um, the heavy XO who's played with Peace Police for a while as well. Um, and looking maybe at the, at the lower half, uh, some uh, the more disappointing uh, players. Um, I, I expected a bit more from from Ace, truth be told, and eight to seven, teen, sorry, um, is not really what you want from your heavy. The damage wasn't really much, and there was only three assists as well, so it's not like you could say, oh, he was getting the assists, he was, you know, putting the damage out, and then other people were stealing them, or, you know, whatever. And there's no, no, nothing really that stands out there. And then you look at, you look at Ixo, who's not even a heavy main, um, 
pounding out 365 dpm uh, which is just good for heavy um 24 to 14 with a decent amount of assists um and yeah i mean like i think that the combos there redwood and demos both fairly similar equal in their damage the kills weren't too far out all the deaths um all in all it was pretty good dpm output by both of them but the uh the difference in those combos lies 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 with the heavies there there's a huge kill difference and a pretty significant uh, damage difference um so i think that uh ace might be needing to uh sort of make up a few changes or uh whatever he needs to do to try and uh get the little team combo back in the game though because we will be going into Gully wash now, which can be a very strong heavy map if I'm not mistaken, Gamma. I think that uh, we might hopefully, uh, if Ace can work a bit better around his combo, we could be seeing uh, a slightly better display from uh, the uh, the little team because Demos should absolutely destroy here. He's such a good sixes player, and it's just such a renowned sixes map after all. One thing that might have made it not so easy for Ace on that last map would have been, you know, Demos being a DM king, a really really good DM lo or a demo man. He was being very aggressive and consequently got healed a lot, whereas Ace, you know, he didn't get healed all that much and he took a lot of damage on those stats. For a map like Gully Wash that's so spam heavy, you know, it's obviously it's important to keep your demo high health, but you have to have your heavy high health too so that you can take that damage without dying and then clean up anyone uh, who gets too close to the combo. It'll be interesting to see if maybe they'll think about that and maybe if Ace can change his playstyle a little bit maybe around that. Maybe no, not as many flank-heavy plays this time. But, you know, it'll be interesting to see as well now, Oli uh, Ollie versus Fundo. It has Fundo warmed up as he started clicking. There's a lot of potential sightlines on this map, and uh, it'll be interesting to see which one of them will be the king of those. Quite right there. Um, you know, Oli, as you said, in the first the first half was just devastating. Fundo, yeah, definitely did step up. And... Uh... This map can be savage for snipers, um, especially on the on the midpoint. Um, and the rollout can be so brutal. A good sniper can just absolutely see the entire um, midpoint there, and everyone's exposed. Everyone's panicking. Everyone's scared for their life. Um, it can be absolutely carnage um, if a if a good sniper can just turn up, and it can be make or break for a midpoint, which is incredibly important for this map in whole. A good mid can. Give the team the momentum to push a last and a successful lush. There might only be one successful last in the entire um, match because of how stalematey and how easy it is to slow this game down. So the uh, I think the best way to really get the ball rolling is from a good mid um, engagement. If you can get a wipe or more or less a wipe, uh, you can definitely get that momentum going. Take seconds immediately and have the uber advantage to push into last. And uh, from there, you can then control the speed of the game. Um, so it's going to be... Very interesting to see um, who's going to have the advantage there because uh, I would say that the Sixers players would take some advantage and um, Demos and uh, the Scouts both have pretty uh, extensive Sixers experience. Um, likewise, Foz as well. He's making some very heroic bombs. That's not to say, though, he got the Pizza Police. Uh, also got some uh, damage dealers as well. We saw Shades turning up big time and I'm sure he's going to turn up a lot. The Scout on this map can be devastating as well. So yeah, That's um, what I was going to say, actually. He quite clearly was playing off the damage that his team was doing last time around. He got a lot of heals from the medic, which kind of, you know, suggests that he was playing around the medic a lot and then cleaning up damage the combo was doing. That sort of thing, you know, it's devastating in sixes and it's devastating in Highlander too, particularly on a map like Gully Wash, where his fights can be, as you said, so brutal, particularly on mid, can be over very quickly just with one sniper headshot or two good pills coming out from either demo man. So, you know, the amount of work that the flanks can do, particularly as we saw what Shade was doing last time around, could really be a massive factor in this game as well. I hope so. I mean, and are you still going to, are you still going with your predictions of Uganda Pizza Police taking this one then? Um, I we're going to be wrapping so. up in a yes. 2 hours. I definitely do think they're going to clean this up 2-0. I think this might go to the 30 minutes though. I don't think we're going to see a win limit anytime soon during this game. Gully Wash so stalemate unless something goes terribly wrong for a little team. I think we're going to be here and seeing a lot of Gully Wash action for the next 30 minutes or so. Oh, that's not such a bad thing, and uh, I'm, I am I might actually have to agree with you. I was pretty pretty set on uh, on Lil Team taking the product victory, but then I would have probably given uh, Uganda Pizza Police the uh, the edge 
on Gallywash due to their cohesion. You know, good push is essential, as I've already said. Um, and, I mean, ultimately, I think that Pizza Police will take this without a problem. And if they didn't have a problem product, I think this could... You don't think it could go to the win limit? I think it actually might well do. I don't want to be bashing Lil Team. I think that they've done a really good job considering what little experience they've had as a team together. Um, but... Uh, is it going to be enough? I just don't think so. I think we could be seeing a 5 0, maybe a 6 1 at best. But uh, I, I mean, I want to be proved wrong. I'd like to see it go to a third map ultimately in these semi finals. We love third maps here. Um, but uh, just considering their uh, performance on product, a map which I thought they would absolutely decimate on, um, I'm not looking too optimistic, to be quite honest. But we should be going live fairly shortly. Uh, so if anyone is uh, just, just tuning in now, this is the Season 15 ETF2L High Semi-Finals. And this is uh, Ugandan Pizza Police versus Little Team. Little Team playing on the red. Pizza Police on the blue. And uh, Pizza Police also taking the uh, first map. Uh, Pro Dark in a 3-0. They win this one. They will qualify to the... Uh, high Grand Finals to take on Tourette's French Club, um, who have just been absolutely killing it this season in high. Um, the first season in high, I think, maybe ever, or at least in a long time. But uh, it doesn't matter right now because we're going live with this match. And um, actually, it is a uh, little team that actually makes it to mid a lot quicker. They're getting good presence on the enemy side there, but they're also getting completely cleaned up. They lose Foz and Sacrilege, but Demos turned up a little bit. Found uh, Bundo, Ixo, and Redwood all went down. Rags left, right, and center. Ace with a 4K, getting about 50% of his like overall kills in the last game already. So uh, it's already looking good for him. Um, but um, something happened, and then everyone died. I wasn't really paying attention. Now it's this weird 1v1. Sun is just taking everyone on, but it's going to be on the back lines. Thomas from the back. Wow. Man, that was the weirdest end to admit I think I ever saw. What really opened it back up for Ugandan Pizza Police was that bomb from 31. And then we had this weird NG plus mini sentry versus NG medic and scout battle around the midpoint. And somehow, little team, you know, they were punished for their aggressiveness, but they somehow get the point back. Very big play from Thomas coming in, cleaning up Seb there. But Austin dies again to Nebula. Oh, Austin. No. Austin. He was so weak. He was about 20 health. And uh, all I'm thinking there, as a former heavy main, is where was Ace's sandwich there? I would like, come on, like that is not the situation. When you've just won the mid. You have potential for a decent uber advantage or at least equal. Um, you need to keep Austin alive there. He gets there. He's got 20 health, and Ace was just tunnel visioning someone over in the enemy garage area, and just like was never going to get the frag. Should have gone back and maybe dropped Asani for his uh, his medic there. But alas, uh, that didn't happen. Austin now on a pretty uh, big uber disadvantage here. Uh, they are holding kind of aggressively at the same time. So um, if Uganda Peace Police are aware of this, uh, they should really be taking this aggression to them. They've almost got now Sebastian coming on 99%, pretty much 100%. He's got it. Um, and why are they not pushing the Gamma? Yeah, I don't understand this at all. They surely know that they have a massive advantage. That, by the way, is declining with every passing second. And they really don't want to be in a situation where Austin escapes and just gets his Uber at the last second. But they're running out of time here to be looking at pushing. I liked the actually I actually like the aggressive hold from middle team because it would have forced Seb, but oh, now they've just left it too long. Well, they certainly have now. Now the uh, Ubers have been equaled here, and um, yeah, not 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 too good. They do find Ace, uh, find again that frag onto Ace there, um, but. Uh, no team can really push at the moment. I mean, no heavy isn't that big of a deal. You can still easily hold this. In fact, it's a crit that comes out. They find Fundo. Uh, now the Uber's instantly popped off there. Well played by Sebastian. Their uh, Uber is popped off and the crit is nullified. They lose uh, Sacrilege as well. It is Tomas that just runs and finds Ixo. Uh, well played to him there. And uh, Demos can now follow up. They're still running that crit. Now they're going to have a decent crit advantage, but they lose Demos to Shades. Uh, Sebastian, uh, Austin, sorry, has to back up a little bit. Finds the sandwich, maybe a little bit too late. One life too late, maybe. But uh, and now has to back up because uh, they've got to make this decision now. Do they want to fight this? Don't they? You've got Ace who's just running forward. You've got Austin who's just legging it back. Foz is kind of just sitting back on the flank. And no one's really making a decision here. Ace could easily get caught out here. And now with Demos, they might be able to actually commit to this more aggressive hold. They do find Juicer and Shades as well. It's not enough for a push at the moment, though. And the crits at the same time. Um, 
they're not going to have enough of a crit advantage to make anything of that. They're going to have to try and get the drop on them. Um, but I don't know if they're going to be able to do that. They lose <laughs> Ollie, they lose Lil Poo, this guy as well. Um, and they lose somebody else. I think that was the spy. Yes, it was. Um, and yeah, this crit is not going to be too effective for them. Ace is just peeking the corner with the fists of steel, just kind of seeing what was up, and he just gets cleaned up. The crit's coming in, misses the first sticky, really. Great flash coming out from Seb to save Ixo's life. And now they're just jumping forward, looking to get what they can get up in that choke. But Sacrilege is just walking directly at them. Seb is so weak, 10 HP, he might just burn out here. Now he gets killed by the gun of Spoo. But man, they had all the advantages there, but they just walked a little bit too aggressively. They, oh no, Nebula gets Austin. These messy fights, almost no one left alive. Sis just somehow walking in, cleaning up Ollie, gets cleaned up himself. The fight is still not over with the Ix over the Ixo, just alone by himself on the midpoint, and he gets cleaned up. And finally, Lil Team successfully defend the midpoint somehow. So clunky currently. It's so back and forth, and both teams making quite a few mistakes, um, to put it bluntly, really. Um, and yeah, I mean, Austin there kind of not really putting out that many heals. There was a bit of a whiff crits, um, and Sebastian gets found out as well, goes down to Spoo by the enforcer there. So now Austin might be able to put the crits to good use. They do lose Spoo, they lose Foz as well, they're losing the players, but they've got the entry in there. No ace, and a brilliant bomb by 31. Finds Austin, uh, he does pay for it with his life, um, as, as you'll pay for it with your sacrilege, finds him. But uh, damage has been done, Austin down, and uh, Sebastian's going to hold a small uber advantage now. And surely, you get a peace police, we are able to push this forward. They will indeed, they find Sack, and now it's just Ace with a, a bit of a baby teleporter there, perhaps. No way he can get out of that alive, no he doesn't, he falls down. The point goes in favour of pizza police, and uh, they can keep storming this forward now. They just went in too aggressively. I mean, they had the massive crits advantage. They had numbers advantage, but they went in before they had the crits to clean up any players, and they just got picked off with that height advantage one by one. And now look at how quickly t times can change. Ugandan Pizza Police going to look at pushing into last. With stock Medigun as it happens. And that's the most reliable one we've got as well, and uh, they've got a good enough Uber advantage. You can see how they're actually using their Uber advantage with the momentum to take ground and it's just the fundamental basics of of cp and it wasn't really pulled off before but finally they've, they've actually started doing it now as 31 finds ollie a little poor guy goes down along with sacrilege they're just planting themselves on the point there very messy but it comes out in uh, favor of peace please even if demos actually got like three kills with, with one pipe but uh, the point had already been capped by the time the pipe connected and that must be so devastating for him probably could have saved that he just flung that pipe about a millisecond earlier um, could have changed everything there but um, it, does, it didn't matter at that point so it's now into the next round Demos is getting really good um, time actually he's got some insane rollouts it's the sixes um, playstyle coming out there Ooh, Thomas, Redwood goes Redwood. down so early though that is such a shame for them but they do lose Spoz and Sacrilege in the process they lose Fundo as well and Juicer lots of frags going back and forth here doesn't look like it's going too in favour of um, Lil Team though, despite that early kick. Uh, just the sheer aggression from Ixo, followed up by Sis and Shades. Uh, it's going to put things, set the ball rolling for um, Uganda Peace Police, but that's not until Thomas actually found Sebastian. Uh, actually managed to get a 4k before he uh, went down. Um, so well played to him, going to equalise those Ubers and maybe give Lil Team a chance to slow it down, hold the second point perhaps. Ixo wants to get in, finds Foz who's trying to make a sneaky play there. And uh, they surely want to try and hold this now. They've got like a small uber advantage. They haven't got Sebastian up yet. He's only just respawning now. They can surely hold this second point. But Ace is just so far out from, from, from the rest of his team. Finally, they find Redwood. Nice fake there by Ollie. He finds a Juicer as well. Nice little 2k there. Um, now they really need to try and lock down this choke point here. Tomas is doing his best. He finds Shades in the 1v1. And now Demos can follow up with the stickies there. It was nicely done, actually. Nicely reclaimed second point. I think that aggression coming out from, actually it was crits coming up on Austin by the way, but I think that aggression coming up from Ugandan Beats Police was to try and make space for Nebula to make a play, but he was caught out and they also lost a lot of players to it. So now with that full crits, looking to push through, Seb is already really weak, there's the crits, he's going to kill himself with the explosive damage close to him, but he can't really get anyone major, gets Redwood at the very least, 
but us oh it's Seb still lives with 80% Uber. And now they're gonna try and walk through here just with Shade, seeing what they can get. But I mean they just don't really have any classes besides Shade to get anything significant. And he's gonna feed in here looking for any kills he can. Not really gonna get any. They should just wait until they get people up. Yeah, I don't think they need to be too hasty about it. Austin's still only got 40% on the crits as well, which is pretty much useless if you're fighting against an aggressive Uber. Um and they can just wait for the players to get into the right position there. Um, they have made the right decision, little team, to fall back a little bit though. Playing a little bit more passive here. Um, maybe try and force with uh, with some with just some damage. But they need to be playing too close up and um, jeopardizing Austin's safety. But I mean, he is so weak already that the Uber comes in and Austin's caught out a bit now. Um, but the Uber is going to fade. And as it does, actually, as I say, that 31 just bombs it out of nowhere and finds Austin. Demos falls as well, along with uh, Tomas. However, Foz with a nice little 2k takes down Sebastian and Redwood. As Juicer and Thunder both go down, it's just Nebula X on the respawn. Um, and really well <laughs> redeemed there by little team. Oh, I don't know what went wrong there, to be honest. I mean, there's some good denies from Sacrilege that kind of prevented Redwood for doing, from doing what he wanted to do. But they just fell apart on their flank, mostly people feeding in trying to get Austin but too many of them died in the process and in the process of doing that Foz alone was able to get Seb but it looks like Pizza Police are trying to defend this they have the numbers and they have heals on this point so they can afford to do so getting aggressive in this big door area a lot of damage being put out by 31 he's gonna die for it though possibly Night Arrow from Seb keeping him alive Austin dies to fund on lovely headshot through that big door and they're actually gonna get into second here such an abysmal effort by Lil Team. They committed like 50% of their roster to hold the midpoint while the rest of them were just sort of oh, sitting back, back on maybe? seconds. No, no, no back cap. In fact, so already imminent cap back by cap. Nebula getting so much time on point. That's going to make things so uncomfortable for Lil Team now. They're just going to have to plonk a bunch of people onto the point just to keep things safe. They do lose Ollie as well. That's also pretty bad. Um, they find Juicer and Shades, but I don't really know if that's going to stop a push from the pizza police. Um, they're getting ready to push in from the river area. The bomb from Foz comes in just a little bit too late. They're trying with the backup. I think that's Tomas on the backup there, but um, I don't think they're going to be able to do it in time. Although, Sacrilege oh, so walks along with Spoon. Nicely done there. And, and then it gets defended as well. Uh, but uh, I think it's Tomas who wins the 1v1 against Nebula. And uh, as you'd expect, goes ahead to win the one will be one against shades as well now he's not even stopping he wants the midpoint as well he's hungry for more it's just juicer can he take him down as well he's been taken down so many players there now in the 1v1 and it's gonna be Ollie who actually steals the frag with the body shot but uh, it doesn't really matter actually what a bomb from 31 though comes in and just takes an Austin again and again and again Gamma 31 is really turned up this game don't you think Oh, he certainly has. That's exactly what his team needed. Just cancels out all the momentum from Lil Team. Gives the Uber advantage back to Seb. Yeah, numbers aren't exactly in their favour, but they're going to be able to hold this second point and push back into third, or into middle, rather, you would think. But, you know, that's just... That whole defence came down to Sacrilege, making a massive loop all the way through lobby. There was no one there at all. They just walked in after them and backburned them. Maybe they might want to keep someone in lobby next time when they're pushing. Quite possibly there, as uh, Ollie actually does find uh, Redwood and Ixo goes down to some stickers by Demos. Um, so Sacrilege just on that like uh, Pyro 1v1, it doesn't seem to work in their favour. They find Fundo as well, they're losing the players, and Demos just needs, they just need to do a Sis. Um, in fact, the Uber comes out on Sis to protect him. That's a pretty good force, providing Austin can get out, and I'd say that he can. They can't really commit to this, they've got to back up. Um, Sebastian using that uh, time to get some space between him and the enemy, but uh, they are just storming onto the point now. They do find, they do see Nebula behind as well. Um, I was thinking he might be able to make a nice little hero play there, but they find Nebula, they find 31 uh, as well. They only lost Spoo in that engagement there, and they want to keep this pushing. They didn't have to use their Uber either. Sebastian went down as well. He's not going to be out for a few more seconds. They cannot waste this opportunity now, Gamma. The Uber comes straight out. That hasn't even been used yet. Finally gets used. That's such a late Uber since looking so good for them. Sackler is just plonking on the point here, just denying everything. Really well played there. Insane momentum. That's exactly what we need to see from Lil Team. They are still in the game. Yeah, that's all about just picking off kills. The poor Uber coming out for us, brother. 
by Seb on second. They stayed a little bit too long in there trying to get something done. And then Seb gets cleaned up, lots of other players get cleaned up. And that respawn wave wasn't enough to keep the point off. It's hard to deal with the pyro who's on point and Gully. And once Sacrilege got on that point, there was really nothing they could do. Uh, quite right, I mean, that pyro can be devastating. You just play on the point, reflecting anything that comes your way. And uh, you're in for an easy cap there. They do lose. Um, Demos and Foz and Homas though already uh, with any shades going down so far for Pisa Police to surely maraud across the point that's exactly what Fundo is doing of all people uh, followed up by Sis um, and they got to keep this going surely now it's 1-1 there's only 15 minutes left it's still anyone's game here but uh, certainly a closer match than I expected um, but they got to keep this momentum going if they want to try and secure a victory then they can slow down the game a little bit uh, it's just sacrilege um, putting out some damage there they lose Redwood and the Uber come out as Juicer goes down as well a late pop there by Seb um, but it's going to be definitely in favour uh, as uh, he wins the 1v1 against Ace but uh, oh, sacrilege, sacrilege just playing behind that hoodoo area just ran in and got an absolutely delicious 3k there completely fried up Fundo uh, along with Seb um, and wow absolute hero play WM1 Highlander at its finest even with dropping Redwood, that Uber just looked so good for Ugandan Pizza Police. Just really just couldn't make it count, it seemed. 31 in, gets Austin again from another drop down, I think. Yeah, I think it was from the uh, it was from the little um oh, above little the, stop, the yeah, door, above yeah. above the above the choke points um and just dropped down at the right time. Really well played there, but uh, in return Ollie gets a frag onto Seb, Redwood goes down as well. Uh, so they could definitely keep this momentum going. He's still looking quite good for the little team. Just held back from the lack of a medic. But they want to keep this going for sure. Um they haven't really got any players to commit to. Sacral is just absolutely just Running onto the point now, Tomas follows up, puts some good damage down, and Foz even more so. There's only three up now for um, Pizza Police, but the respawns are coming in as Redwood comes in as well, and they lost so many players there. They've probably got to hold this off. On the plus side, however, um, although is Demos still in? The Demos is still in. They oh, are not the over Johnny yet. On the point. They're not over yet. There is just Austin! <gasps> No, he blew it, did it. Absolute legend there. I think he maybe redeems himself for all those uh, atrocious um, deaths to 31. Uh, finally, just kind of running onto the point there and getting a stab um, when uh, when these police just weren't expecting it. Making it 2-1 and really bringing Lil Team back into the game. I was not expecting this at all. They've really turned up on this map. Sacrilege just seems to have their number with ridiculous flanks every single time. I like this aggressive play that they're doing up onto the enemy team's choke here get uh they force um demos out of the point and down onto the low ground Gerardi on them too they're taking so much damage and it's only really ace who's taking the high ground they're looking to get up now though they're being caught out of position a good jump from Foz, a body shot from ollie they're all just starting to die only 31 left alive they get punished for their heavy aggression but 31 looking for austin again can't get him this time He's pretty low under the point. Maybe he might try again. It's not over yet, though, is it? He's still, he's still kicking. Um, oh, oh the almost, mini almost finds the lock guard onto Sun there, but the, the mini sentry saves his life. A trusty little thing that it is. Um, and yeah, they can keep this going now. Like absolutely, um, there's no reason them to stop here. They've got brilliant momentum. Seb only just respawning, and Austin with that full 100%. Props to 31 for trying to make that play there, but uh, this time he was unlucky. The Uber is going to be used out uh, onto Demos the river. Fire. He actually gets dropped though. Um, Redwood Sticky's uh, prevail and uh, double stab by Nebula onto Ollie and Sun is not is not making this look very good for little teams. They lose their core players and they have to back this off. Unfortunately, Austin did get out with the life along with Ace, so they may be able to hold second here. But uh, it's very unlikely. I would just maybe opt out and try and go for a uh, try and go for a mid hold here. I mean the plus side now. For little team, uh, Demos goes down again actually somehow. Um, but uh, I mean, the 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 one plus is that with that point up, they can try and slow this game down. Maybe throw a level three mix and just kind of hold on mid if they really want to park this bus. Um, I don't want to see it because it's really dull to watch. It's heckin' dull to cast as well. But um, you know, from a tactical standpoint, I think that they could really make this work. Um, it's a really good map to stalemate on, especially at this position here. Oh, they've got that point. Oh, uh, sis just destroyed Fuzz. Fantastic air blast. I like this uh, big door hole that they're doing, but they're using Ace. They have that uber advantage, of course, but it is starting to dwindle away and the point goes back to Pizza Police. But man, Foss is looking for that big bomb onto Seb and he got sent into the skybox with a reflex. 
the Hoover comes in through the choke area. They're not getting anything. There's that level one sentry that's actually doing a huge amount of work. They've been completely denied. Jade looking to get in on them. Tape doing a huge amount of damage in that in that choke area. Onto the medics. Can't get him though. Oh, oh, oh wow. Austin, that is nuts. Um finds out. It means Jade just completely just like butchered through um the entirety of uh Austin's defense there, and then uh, Austin was the one who just found a nice arrow there, but he does fall, however, I think he fell to uh, Redwood, perhaps, um, so now it's a good opportunity oh, for, ooh, maybe not, as Ollie falls down, uh, no, sorry, Seb falls down to Ollie, uh, with a brilliant headshot there, and this NG1v1 comes in, helped by Demos, and they've just turned the tides, it's such a back and forth game here, Gamma, it's not usually what you expect from a, a Ollie wash match, but boy, is it a joy to watch. It's fantastic to watch, and you know, the team that we thought would have the cohesion doesn't. It's the team who we thought were just, you know, really just skillful players. You're pulling out some really great plays, taking advantage of maybe some poor flank coordination in the form of Sacrilege, getting behind them constantly. <laughs> He's a little bit too far forward, it's going to get picked off. They are losing some players, they might want to be careful about holding this point. But, you know, it's just Hixo is not being healed really in Big Door. And in Big Door, excuse me. But Redwood again, high ground. High ground wins all, spamming out as best he can. Slowing it down ever so slightly. And they might actually just force them out. Yeah, I think they are going to do that. They didn't really commit to that. They didn't want to put any pressure on them. And they didn't want to just hold back and wait for a better opportunity. Assist picks up a nice 2k with that detonator. Um, they lost their entire flank there. Sacrilege down as well. But Seb down again to Ollie, the same situation just a minute later. Um, it's really well played by that boy. Um, but uh, they got to deal with the XO. He's going to get absolutely minced by Demos's pipes there. Just got to deal with Sis now. And they can probably hold this off. It's just Sis and Juicer. But Thunder getting a nice lower headshot onto Sacrilege. And Sis finds the scout. Foz finds Nebula. It's back and forth though. But Sis, I think, still kicking. He's still fine. He's doing so well as well for a player that kind of is definitely rising up the ranks quickly. Uh, playing for Sensation, I do believe. I think he might be murking. But um, he's doing so well on this, on, this, uh, on this map so far. He's doing a huge amount of work trying to, I suppose, keep the bad spies away. As I say that, he kills Spoo under the point. Ollie gets Sebastian again though. Oh, this is the third time in a row that Seb's died to him. The first one was a drop. But as I say, that Ixo just walks in, cleans up Austin and Ace. Just and Ollie. <laughs> and Ollie as well. Yeah. It's just insane. 31 yeah. getting aggressive, trying to spam them out. There's a lot of players in that big door area, but they're going to hold on to this point ever so slightly. Maybe for the next 20 seconds or so, because this game has just been crazy. Back and forth all over the place. They're actually in on second. Quite right, that's uh, Shades there wasting no time just putting the pressure on them. That's what Pizza Police probably need to be doing now. They need to keep this momentum going if they want to try and equalize the scores here. Nice reflect by Sis. It's going to make Foz have to back up there. He went for that bomb, but couldn't make anything of it. Demos getting some damage out. Finds, I think it was 31. Um, but uh, the momentum's definitely in motion now for Pizza Police. They have got a, they haven't got the Uber, but they've got a big, big player advantage. And if they want, they can push this. But I think maybe the sensible thing would be to wait uh, for that Uber advantage. Oh. They've got a big one. Demos finds Sis somehow. I don't know where he was. Um, There's a sticky trap in out. River, and somehow Seb didn't die to it. I don't understand. It was so close. If he'd been another few steps in a different position, he would have died. Lucky Seb, I suppose. And now with 100%, they're just going to wait for their last few players. This is Austin only on about 30% now, and then they can quite easily make a good push here. They've got the cohesion, and the pushes aren't too bad, to be quite honest with you. And provided that they don't feed uh, beforehand, they could easily make this work. They do lose Nebula. He's not too important to the push, but uh, now they're getting ready through the uh, river area. Ixo taking the under approach of the U, but 31, Anton, was Redwood. Uh, they do find Sacrilege and Sun. There's 31, picking up a 2k, finds Foz, and that is none at all, bringing it back 2-2. Still in the game here with six oh. or seven minutes left. It's looking very, very close here, Gamma. Golden cap, anyone? I don't know at this point. This game could really go either way. Sis came up huge that round, getting so much work done. It'll be interesting to see if, Dem if Demos can outrun him to mid again. And Oh, no, this time Redwood actually gets there quickly enough. But again, he has Thomas in his face. This time Shader comes in to try and help him. But Sacrilege... <laughs> and Ace and everyone it seems just spamming up at him. They're trying to get aggressive up this little elbow area. But they're just losing everyone, including Austin, kind of importantly. They are going to get the point perhaps. 
I mean, they lost Austin, but perhaps more importantly, Peter Police just lost so many vital players, uh, sort of damage dealers and whatnot. They lost uh, their heavy and their demo man, and their flank went down as well. Uh, Seb did get out alive, and so this repush is probably imminent as the Uber comes out. Seb's so weak. Um, I maybe would have waited for his health to regen a little bit there, but uh, he has to use the Uber just to stay alive. And the Uber's going to fade now. He's not in a great position here, but he has to back up. That is an absolutely shocking Uber. Um, really, like, he just went in, got no d ground at all, and then just basically just pulled, pulled a straight U-turn and just went back straight out again. Nothing was achieved there. And now uh, it's going to be Austin. He's got a small advantage, maybe not enough to push off. But, uh, it's still plenty. Um, it's going to make things a lot more comfortable for a uh, little team here. It's fun for Nebula both go down. Uh, as does 31 here. They might even want to get to a dry push here. They don't have to worry about that sniper. And if they can just deal with Redwood's damage, they can probably make this work. But one thing I've seen about Lil Team is they don't want to push off. They, they want to be able to push off the right circumstances. They might be waiting a bit too long here. But as I say that, prove me wrong, why don't you? And they just walk straight in. They find Redwood. Nice rotation. Uber comes out just in time as Austin was so weak there. They find Ixo as well. They might even be able to get the uh, push keep on uh, keep the push going here, but the Uber gets off by um, Pizza Police here, and they were completely caught out. Ollie, it's just a one v one against uh, against Shades, and he finds the fish kill. And uh, yeah, I mean, what looked like could have been like an amazing Uber by a little team, which just turned out to be absolutely carnage here. Uh, nothing's really happening for either team at the moment, um, and it looks like probably going in favour of Pizza Police. Yeah, they didn't really get anything done with that Uber that they had, and they just bought so... Well, they saved, you know, they saved people, but they gave so much time for Seb to get that Uber, and then Sis and Shade were just able to clean up any players who were left. They're trying to get in aggressive here, but Ollie again, just sniping from Choke, cleaning up players. Ace gets picked off by Nebula, though. Crucial part of that defense. Mini Sentry doing so much work trying to deny 31, but Ollie again, more headshots. Just making it so difficult for him to take absolutely. Any He's absolutely tearing it up. He took down Shay, he took down Redwood as well there, preventing any um, opportunity of a push there for Pizza Police. Fondo also doing his bit as well, finds Ollie, found someone else as well a little earlier on in that engagement, but um, not going to be quite enough to uh, keep that push going as uh, now uh, it looks like Demos has got, uh, and his team have got that advantage. They find Fondo, they've got the Uber. Nice little air pipe there. Redwood as well, nice little pop up and uh, clean pipe. Takes him back to the respawn queue there. Just got the Ixo. He's not going to be too much of a threat sitting back there, though. Uh, he's getting damaged hard. Back up, mate. You're so weak. Man, <laughs> just to pull a little heavy serpent. Back on up. Yeah, nice little push, though, by Lil Team. As, uh, again, ready for this uh, for this last push, maybe. They've only got three minutes left. Uh, it's going to be vital these next three minutes. Uh, it's going to be even more difficult for Pizza Police not take this to a golden cap. Um, and to actually maybe take the take victory. They're going to have to start pushing out now, but uh, I think the best thing to do for them would be to uh, write this one off, try and play the golden cap. Um, but uh, I guess we'll see how, how, they, how the game takes. At least it's Uber versus Uber on this last point. Again, they're sending people under, try and take position there on the point when they can. They're going to Uber in late, it seems. Redwood goes down, oh, and so that's going to be so bad to their attempts at holding this. The spam coming here, Demos getting some picks. There's still a level 2 sentry up though, and a heavy under the point. Sis has found him, and he's killed. Uber comes in now from Demos when there's no one left alive. They're going to just sit on the point, but he's not being able to cap it because he's flashed. But there's not many people left up. Oh, he's staying is alive as best he can, but no. Point I'm more, was I'm more shocked at, at, just, at just how bad that melee fight was. It was just, it's like, there was three of... Uh, Three of the little team players, all with their melees out, trying to get one hit onto Nebula. It took about five seconds or so, like like two or three hits that they missed. All of them before they finally able to find Nebula. Um, but 3-2 now to little team who have snatched this one back. Um, I was not expecting this outcome so far. It's not over yet, though. Oh, 1 minute 44. The Demos, oh. however, take down Shades early on. Redwood as well went down to some mindless aggression there by Tomat. Then finds Juicer. An insane follow-up by... Just the entirety of the team there. And that is basically a wipe. Only Ixo and Seb uh, were the ones to survive there. And I would say now that this is a write off for Peace Police. They're going to have to just regroup and uh, take another approach. The last map, which is going to be uh, Co Copeland, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and yeah, I mean, what do you think went wrong here with Peace Police? They were looking so confident in the first half. And then out of nowhere, um, Lil Team just absolutely just turned up and went huge. And, 
they really, really I mean, gave him a run for their money. Uh, it's, they started off so well on Gully Wash, but it was just some massive plays from Sacrilege. Maybe they tilted, I don't know. But like ever since those massive viral plays from him, everything's just been going so smoothly for little team. Every push, every mid fight, everything seems to pretty much click into place. Even if they don't succeed with pushes, you know, they take so many of Ugandan pizza police with them that they actually can't do anything themselves. And that's just been the story for the last 20 minutes or so as we have 35 seconds left. I mean, they could add another point to this if they wanted, but you know, yeah, here they go. Why not? I mean, I guess it's a bit of a it's a bit of a um, morale crusher for Pizza Police, though. So if they can get this next one in, it does make it look worse. But what a pick by Shades finds Austin. I mean, maybe I'm hyping it up for nothing, but then a double stab by Stu. Um, I mean, it is just for the logs at this point here. But uh, why not hype it up? Look at this W one play from Sacrilege. What an absolute demon he is. A uh, real testament to 2018 Highlander there. But there we have it, folks. Four to two, um, and that is going to equalise this semi-final here uh, and now we're taking it to the best of three Koth coal plant here um, and we'll, we'll have a bit of time before we swap maps swap, swap maps to um, have a quick peek at the logs here we'll be up on I... the screen very shortly who do you think was down now i think demos from the looks uh yeah demos is gonna have done a lot of work i think ollie as well if you look at the, the kills <laughs> i suppose that ollie got oh man 48 <laughs> kills oh, mama. oh man that's some massive stuff from Dios. He really pulled out some massive plays. Every Uber and every mid fight, he just seemed to get there first and do the most work of anyone really on the on the entire map. Some massive work from Tomas as well. Kind of a little bit unmentioned. Forty kills on the scout, but I mean it's kind of easy a scout when your demo's putting out so much work to just clean up anyone who he hasn't fragged himself. It's so, so true. Demos there, 48-15. Insane stuff. Um, Redwood, mate, come on. This is not acceptable for a demo man of your calibre. 15 to 28, mate, and 270 DPM is not, not what we would expect from you. Um, this Demos lad's giving you a run for your money, and uh, come on, man, you can really take this back on the coal plant. Um, but, I mean, look at those demo differences there. Um, Redwood really, 15 to 28, I think was a big problem to... A uh, big, big, big problem for 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 his combo there, because the ace as well wasn't really turned up significantly either. Only eighteen to twenty six, dying a lot, both of them. Um, and meanwhile, like you look at the combo of uh, of little team there, I mean, we're talking about Demos X, so uh, pretty admirable. Twenty eight to twenty two there with three hundred twenty odd DPM is nothing to grumble at. And um, as we said, we I mean, we were talking a lot about those pyros and both pyros that are absolutely shredding it. Uh, Sis. Mad damage actually for a pirate. That's 245 is pretty decent. Um, the interesting 20, thing for Sis though, well. was that he got 23% of heals more than anyone else on his team. Oh, wow. Py Pyro mains getting healed more than anyone else. What has 2018 turned this TF2 game into? I mean, all of the good pushes came from him, so it does beg the question: like, it was, was it was it the right decision? Would have would have the outcome been different if if um, Red would have been given say ten percent more heals uh, off Sisses? Um, but I mean, at the same time, like Sis is clearly doing a lot with those. I think he top five for his team. Um, oh no, sorry, thirty one did. Um, uh, he's actually doing a heck of a lot of work as well. Um, but. Um, yeah, I mean, Sis, he's putting out uh, good damage and really good um, uh, frag rates and whatnot. So, I mean, you can't really blame, you can't really like, criticize, I'd say. Like, those heals are being put to good use at the same time. Um, I did already touch upon it at 31, though. Like, 33 to 28 is insane. I don't know how many those were on Austin. It'd be interesting to know. Um, we do have that capability. Uh, five frag onto Austin, uh, which was the most of any player that game as well. So props to, oh, I actually just joined with Ollie. We've got five frags onto all within the same, like two minutes is quite, quite, quite funnily. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, any, any, any other um, players you want I mean, to sort of look at? Sis did do a lot of work with the heels, but you've got to think how much more work a demo man would do with that sort of heels. You know what I mean? Like, Yes, he did a lot of work, but a demo with more heals, you would think on an app like Gully Wash, is going to do even more work. Like 31% of heals for Demos, you see what he's able to do with that. And with a little bit more heals on the right classes, you know, that's just going to enable them to do their job more. And on a map like Gully, where spam is so important, you need to be healing your demo man a lot more than what Redwood was getting healed. And his death count, you know, can pretty much be attributed to that. Quite possibly. I guess... Um... 
I guess we'll see how they adapt to this into the next uh, map, though, which will be Koth Coal Plant, as you can see on your screens right now. I sure can. Um, and this map, um, very similar style, I suppose, to uh, Product. Um, I mean, obviously, in the sense that it's a Koth map, but also just in terms of like the necessity for a, for a solid push, uh, the importance of Flank, and the importance of the Sniper, all really powerful classes, uh, along with the Demon Man, of course. Um, so we could be seeing a repeat of... Um, Ugandan Pizza Police, uh, as they uh, had no trouble against Lil Team um, on the former um, first map, which was also which was you know Koth, Koth Products, um, and you know really really well played by them in there in that situation. So it means you think that they have what it takes to reclaim this, or do you think they might be a bit tilted now? Or how do you think this one could go out? I mean, it's very hard to see where everything started to go wrong for them. On Gully Wash, and you know, maybe a lot of that was the team coordination and that team coordination that they had on product and responding to pushes and pushing themselves was a big part of why they won that map. If they can't rediscover that on this map, you know, it's such a big sniper sideline everywhere. You know, there's so much scope for bombs. You know, there's just if you can't react to what the enemy team is doing as well as they did on product. I really don't think they can win this, and Lil Team might actually pull off what would be an upset in my mind. Um, maybe, yeah. I mean, I was completely set that Lil Team would be not on two maps there, but they've really pulled themselves together. If Moss can turn up like he did on Gully Wash, and as, as, as I said before, this is such a strong map, uh, along with this sniper map, the two most important, and the two big players, Lil Team are currently, I would say, their demo man, uh, um, Sniper. And really, like, they can do what they did in Gully Wash there. I think they could reclaim this. And you, as you said, it would be a complete upset because I think that, uh, I think it's safe to say that Pizza Police were the favoured team here. Um, all things considered, they've got a good experience together. They've played this map probably more times than I've had hot dinners. And they're just absolutely, like, real tight little team there. Um, but at the same time, little team, um, just got that bad DM power that we just, we've really seen flourish in the, in the second map. That's definitely true. Um, that DM flourish, of course, when it's coming to light just before you play another Koth map, that's exactly when you want it. Where specifically with Demos just pounding on that last map, getting so much work done. This is a map that's very friendly to demo men, particularly maybe with crits. Be interesting to see if there's um, a few medigun changes rather than just using stock all the time. You know, you want a little bit of spice in our lives. I'd like to see some big crits plays maybe if he's feeling a sticky aim is up to par. But this, as you say, it's going to come down a bit to DM and little team certainly have that capability. I'll be in, I'd be interested to think, you know, if I was Tourette's French Club watching this, what would what would they be thinking? Which team would they like to be facing the most on this showing? Oh, this, I mean, I think tough one. I think that uh, if it came against Tourette's French Club, I'm not sure either team is going to have um, any real advantage against them. French Club have just been absolutely destroying the season. Uh, they've just been unstoppable. Uh, um, and that's really what you expect from a team that could quite easily be devastating Prem. Um, I think that next season, if it's implying that they win uh, the high grand finals, uh, then yeah, I could I could definitely see them being a, a, a very strong team in the future in Prem as well. Um, I mean, one thing I think they're going to want to be looking at is oh, do both of these teams approach the midpoint because. Uh, depending on whether you want to play on the left or the right, does change up how the other team has to play as well. Um, whether or not you put any um, pressure on the under area is also really important um, for for um, analysing how a team plays there. Some teams don't really even touch under. Teams have huge flank plays under. Some teams kind of play on the uh, play on the on on the rooftops heavily some teams play on the left some teams play on the right some teams use the bounds you know there are so many different variations of of how you hold where with like product kind of a standard meta maybe aggressive and passive there's variations both on the flank and the combo that um that are going to be important for analyzing how Tourette's French club will tackle um this team in the finals obviously that's Considering if they even play coal plants, but um, you know, uh, I think that uh, it'll be it'll be interesting to see how each team plays it because um, we've seen notably, like I think it was last season, it was Fela that had in the prem 
Cup finals. Uh, they took a they took a round off strong opinions, and they were at absolutely just lethal on coal plants especially and i think one of the reasons i said before when i was casting it it was attributed to their holding pattern was so much different to any other team no one could counter it because no one had played against a team that played like that they held on like i think they held on the on the on their left side and um no one had really done that that much and uh, it kind of threw off the if maybe if a team can can uh start, we might might be able to see them hold the advantage but I'd say anyone's game to be coming. I mean, you're talking about variation on different strats and that sort of thing. You know, I've talked before about how I'd love to see Thermal Thruster Pyro as being played a lot more, but what about some Neon Annihilator under this point with the water? <laughs> it seems like we're going live now. Back to serious gameplay. Here we are, back to serious gameplay, ladies and gentlemen, as serious as it can get in Highlander 2018. This is the semi-finals for ETF2 or High Division. Uh, Uganda people is on the uh, blue team as the mid fights use their early damage coming in from 31 but he took a hefty rocket and then a body shot falls down to ollie that's the first frag spoo gets found out as well ollie then finds ixo as well nice little 2k by him but the frag coming back and forth nebula also finding uh, someone else as well i think it was falls or something um I mean, yes, yeah, so many frags coming back and forth there. It could be anyone's game, but it looks like Lil Team have got the aggression they've ground at the moment. And uh, they've just got to start getting some players on point. They could easily take this, but they keep backing up. Oh, come on, guys, get in there. Take the fight to them. I mean, we're seeing that different style that you're talking about. We're seeing Uganda Peace Police playing on the left hand side and the right hand side. Oh, Fondo, some massive picks. Uber's being exchanged here. Not really much getting done except for Red being dropped, really. And again, it's going to be what? Oh no! Big picks coming out from Ollie onto Seb again, picking off where he left off in the last map. And Lil Team will pick this up. Oh, absolutely. Nice little double stab that by Spur as well. Good stuff by um, Austin. I think that was 31. Just went in for the late bomb there. Oh, did get one nice rocket onto Austin. Well placed, but um, that was a nice little tight surf there. And they're taking this aggressive hold here. Uh, this is a bit of a file of strategy. Um, on the team especially that I've seen, Shades just get completely annihilated. Uh, um, but uh, Gardner, they can hold this kind of aggressive playstyle here. Maybe not for long though, as Demos gets backstabbed and Austin gets headshot on the retreat uh, by Bundo. And then he finds Sacrilege as well. Lil Pudis guy goes down. That was a shocking, uh, a really shocking, um, aggressive hold there. I was, I was about to you know, big up how, how good it is to see that, but they absolutely... A shameful uh, oh, uh, aggressive on play there. They lose into oh. Well, I'd like that aggressive hold is a good idea with the uber advantage that they had, but you know, that kind of relies upon your demo not getting backstabbed and your medic not getting headshots. So, you know, both of those things kind of make it hard to hold forward. They lose the point, but having killed Seb, they don't lose the uber advantage at the very least. No, they want to keep this going, they got to keep the aggression going now. They find Nebula as well. Um, so that's uh, right about their back because they concentrate entirely on the uh, enemy ahead. They find 31 um, and they are starting to get some time on point now with Sacrilege just putting out the damage there, uh, followed up by Ace. And they do find the sentry gun, but uh, they have to back up. They are able to scrape the point just before Fondo finds Sacrilege. Um, but I don't know how long they're going to be able to hold on to that. They've had to draw back a fair bit. And this now can just plant himself on the point and Fondo turning up big time on the seven kill streak. And he takes down Ollie. And uh, someone needs to stop that man. And as I said, that Tomas is the man to do it. He finds Fundo just as he goes down to a mini sentry. Uber then gets used out onto Demos. He jumps forward. Can he find Sebastian? No. Good reflections there by Sist. And Spoo managed to get a good backstab. They did lose players though. So Sebastian's going to have the Uber, but he's not going to have that many people to use it on to. He's going to have to use it on to Sist. Doing that detonator jump forward into a WM1, trying to take down Demos. And then it's going to be. Who took him down? It was Ixo who was tracking, actually, that managed to oh, the clean flank him up under really from Ace. by Sis. Flank under from Ace, just cleaning up Ixo and getting them off the point, buying another few crucial seconds, and with the presence starting to come back in now on their heels, they mightn't actually get this point at all. It's very back and forth still. Austin now needs to make that decision. Is he going to commit to holding this, or is he going to back it up? It looks like they're taking a more passive stance. At the same time, so have... Pizza police though. And then Ixo gets taken out straight away. Nice timing there by Spoo as uh, he finds the heavy weapons guy. Shades gets fragged as well. And now with only 45 seconds left, he's looking very good for little team here. They don't have a lot of time to 
hold this uh, still. And um, now they've still got that 100% Uber. Well, Demos falls. That's not until Seb gets picked off as well. Along with Redwood. It's looking horrific for the police here. The Uber did get used off, however. Now, uh, um... They're still going to have a small advantage, though, because Seb, again, falling just at the wrong time there. Absolutely crucial time for your medic to be alive. Uh, and, uh, no, he fell back to the respawn queue there. But they're going to try this dry push anyway with 10 seconds left. And uh, they find Spur, they find Sun as well. The picks are coming in in their favour. They just wanted on to the point, though. And uh, is Austin on the crits? I do believe he is. The bass, sorry, is uh, on the crits, even. And um, so I guess they're just going to try this desperation last year's ever play. And that's exactly what you wanted, Gamma, wasn't it? Yeah, I want to see a little bit of variation when you're in need of it. This is exactly, well, maybe not exactly the right time to use it because he still doesn't really have an advantage with it. It's going to need a hero sticky from Redwood to really do anything with it. But you need to do something different when, you know, ramming your head against the wall isn't working. Maybe ramming your head against the wall with some critical hits will do something better for them. Here it comes, Neb. Oh, no, the Uber popped off just in time. Nebula getting picks in the background, though. And no, well, Seb goes down to Demos's pipes, but no other real significant kills. Damage getting done, Ixo drops, and now maybe they might be able to get the point back, but Redwood is still alive, and they don't have positioning, but Nebula gets Austin in the background as well. Yeah, there was some really good flank plays there by Shades, uh, who just sort of ran right through the shutter doors, Thomas found Austin Seb. on the retreat, and yeah, and Seb goes down in return as well. The frags are coming in, that is a brilliant opportunity now, team, to make a good push. Yeah, they do lose Ollie, however. Backline's doing a ton of work. Wood falling to Spoon. No demo man, no sniper, and no medic, most importantly. They can make this uh, dry push surely work. Got deal with Shades on the roof there. The mill comes out. Now they've got to find Nebula. He is absolutely minced. And uh, they're just going to plug themselves with the point. Five seconds left. They lose Shades and Ixo. 31 as well. Now it's just Sis, and he doesn't have enough time. Seb tries his best. Seb does have enough time, but he falls along with his pyro. And that is 1 0 to Little Team. And man, I really think Pizza Police are going to be tilting a little bit now, Gam. This is a bad time for your soldier to go missing in 31, you know, those big plays you're seeing on the other maps, they aren't happening here, and we're seeing on the other side, you know, Tomas coming out with some massive kills at the right time. You know, it's maybe not all about the kills you get, but the kills you, the important kills you get at the right times. Damn right, and uh, yeah, the second round now, and um, the Foz finding 31, Juicer as well getting picked off, they do find Ace, oh, that's a pause now. Uh, nice little tactical pause there. Um, it's not looking great for uh, Pizza Police at the moment here. Ixo on 57 health and it's a sticky right by uh, that's going to get detonated imminently. So I assume he's going to be going down as well there. Uh, and yeah, we, we're seeing this sort of arch at the moment, which uh, again, so what I was saying is about utilising the map properly. Um, such an important area that often gets neglected. Um, a, lot, a lot of teams just opting to ignore it and just sort of playing on the uh, above ground but it's a brilliant flank opportunity we saw last round Ace was it I think it was Ace or was it Hicks, oh, sorry it, it found, was Ace uh, actually yeah. oh, oh it was Ace yeah found, finding finding that flank opening and uh, made a nice little play there and uh, they seem to be using it uh, in mid fight as well as uh, it looks like Ix is going to go down soon along with uh, Sis Shades 31 Juicer they've all been picked off so um in all in all, I, I think Lil Team is definitely taking advantage of the map a lot more than Pizza Police are. I've seen uh, Lil Team sort of rotate where their combo's holding. They've been playing on the left and playing on the right. They've been keeping uh, Pizza Police a little bit uh, um, in the grey as far as their medics positioning, which may be why 31 is struggling to find the frags that he was finding so easily um, on Gully Wash. And again, they're making use of this under area as well, which is just another opening, more potential, and uh, it's going to be more confusing for Pizza Police to, uh, to hang on to their players. I would say a lot of this game so far on Cold Plant has been Lil Team doing something and Pizza Police reacting to it rather than Pizza Police trying something themselves aside from that crits that they ran at the end of last round. Maybe wasn't the right time for it because they did have a disadvantage even with the crits. But, you know, it's Pizza Police reacting to Lil Team doing clever things or, you know, the right thing rather than Pizza Police trying to do something proactive themselves. We see Ixo here. He's reacting to them going under, but he's probably going to die to the sticky as soon as it explodes. And then it's just Redwood and Seb really left on this mid with Ollie watching them all from afar. Looks like Nebula might be on him, though, is it? Yeah, Foz is staring right at him, though. 
Yeah, I don't but... think Nebula's going to get out alive. <laughs> I say that, he goes down straight away, as Ikto did as well. Along one, though, that was three just perfect kills as soon as, as, soon as we unpause there. Um, perfect timing, I suppose. Uh, and um, oh, the bomb from Redwood comes in. A brilliant headshot by Ollie as well. Just puts him straight into the ground. And he can't put a sink. Single shred of damage onto Austin there. So, uh, they're going to be able to hold on to this. That is the first successful um, push for them. And a uh, little team now just uh, playing them very comfortably. Yeah, now it's going to be about what Seb can do with this Uber, really. Nebula went down, so there's not going to be any magic from him. They're just going to try to see if they can get in. Juice and dies. They're playing on the same side as them. This is what they should be doing. Oh, the headshot coming out is going to force that Uber. See if they can force any flashes from Austin, but they're not really doing anything, doing anything with it. Redwood getting some damage, but this Uber is going to accomplish really nothing, to be honest. Uh, here they found Foz. It was that trade with 31 as well. But Sebastian actually getting taken out by Tomas on the back lines. Now on that 5k as Ollie finds Redwood as well. And there's two essential picks. And it's going to make things very difficult for a repush. And now, the little team can sort of sit back and just let the timer run down. They've got such the driving seat. They've got the Uber advantage. They've got the player advantage. They're pounding the damage at the moment. It's got Demos on that sort of on that top roof area, just able to do so much work, putting out some mad damage potential uh, onto the battlement area. Uh, just falling onto X at the moment as uh, Ollie finds Shades with a nice tight little headshot there. You might be seeing 31 going for this bomb now. Pulls the skip jump. But he's completely caught out there. He could not get the speed. And uh, Ace finds him along with Redwood. Thunder goes down and it looks like he well, just can't even scratch into the surface of this of this um, little team hold. I like this hold on the left side. It's probably the best place, I think, as, as good a hold as can be achieved on Gold Plant. And I think ramming your face into this Demos positioning isn't really doing anything with them. It isn't doing anything for them, rather. There's a good attempt at a bomb from Redwood and 31 with a Dorati over the top as well, but they just couldn't seem to get anyone. They're Ubering he in here on Redwood, but again, he's not really forcing many flashes, and they're not even going to get any kills with this. No, absolutely disappointing uh, exchange. Um, Seb, I mean, it was a decently timed Uber, but they just couldn't find anything. And Seb goes down to a sticky trap by Demos, along with Sis. Then finds the 5k onto Ixo. Jades went down as well. Fondo 2 getting completely shredded. The entire Ugandan Pizza Police um, roster there just absolutely smashed. And uh, they won just dies for his own rocket somehow. Uh, we, won't, we, won't, we won't talk about that. Um, and Redwood now just playing by himself, instantly taken out of the scene by Ollie. Sebastian then followed up on, gets fragged by Seb. They've got to write this round off probably. You can just see Ace just, <laughs> just, cool. just ripping around in the air there. He actually pays for it with his life, getting a little too cocky. Zixo just needs to walk onto the points. Come on, dude, you can slow this guy there. He can't even get onto the point in time. Finds him, and with that, taking it to 2-0, looking so, so strong now for Lil Team have made an astonishing comeback. From that dominant performance on product to this, they've really fallen far over the last hour or so. I just, I really don't know where they can fix this. They've just players dying all over the place, uncoordinated as hell. They're not really getting anything done with Ubers. They're not getting any significant picks. They're getting out DM'd on every single aspect. As I say, that 31 and Shade go down, so there's no flank. They're getting flanked. Heavy gets picked off. They, this mid's already lost. Holly, man. Now, I think he was on a 3 or 4k there. Um, took down the entire flank, then took down the Ixo, and I think he took down, like, Fundo as well. Um, and that is just a mad um, first engagement there, uh, going very, very strongly for um, Lil Team, as the crit actually comes out, but it's not really going anywhere. Redwood cannot hit those stickies to save the his life. And he's going to pay for it, perhaps, with his life there. Oh, they lose. Uh, Sis actually getting the 2k, takes down Tomas and Lil Pootis guy. Nebula falls as well, frags back and forth. They might be able to actually get some, uh, get a foothold into here now. Uh, they got the times two, and it's just Demos, and the Uber comes out on that solo. One, two, three, four pipes onto X. So, and uh, Seb might be able to get out with his life, but Demos is getting so hungry for more. Finds a little bit of damage onto Seb there, but uh, it's not quite enough. I don't really know what that Uber was about. I think they might be getting a little cocky. They still got to win one more round to, to secure this. Um, and uh, I've seen people come back from worse at the same time. It's not over for Pizza Police still. No, it's definitely not. And with Ubers like that, they're <laughs> they've certainly got a chance. 
to play back in because that was just a nothing play from Demos really. It gets it so slow down the point a bit, I suppose. But, you know, they needed more players there in order to capitalize off his damage. Here comes the crits now. Doesn't get the medic, but he does get the rest of the combo at the very least. He's going to let Redwood burn out. Yes, he is, apparently. <laughs> but at the very least, they're going to hold the point, killing a lot of players. Crucially, though, not killing Austin. He managed to back away. The first crit sticky somehow just about a foot off hitting him. Oh, a bit unfortunate, but they clean up everyone else at the very least. Very unfortunate for uh, Pizza Police as uh, Austin now going to have a huge uber advantage to work off. Just got to hold on to his life. He's in a very precarious at the moment here. One good bomb from 31 could uh, end it all um, as he finds the sentry. Uh, and the uber now getting ready to come out. Uber's used on to Tomas. And the Ixo gets taken down along with Juice Assist. Nebula of the big ones. They are all been put back. Nine bomb gets one good rocket onto Austin, not enough, and he gets found out by uh, Foz in the 1v1 there. Um, and then that's a Chris that comes out on Redwood and he can't secure How one frag there. there? Uh, it's Foz that just bombs him and just absolutely decimates. Ace wanders basically back to Pizza Police's spawn and then comes up behind him to clean up anyone he can. It's just a crazy flank play from him. That crit's not getting anything and now Austin has a 50% advantage with Seb not really healing efficiently. Even as I say that he starts, but they're going to get the point back just by virtue of their numbers. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good dry push there. They saw the opportunity. They had big player advantage. Um, as I say, that Igso gets taken down along with Juicer there. Uh, Ollie really turning up now, um, and Sun falling as well. But they are going to want to commit to this. They do lose Foz and Tomas. So that's the entire flank gone down. Nebula with one stab. Can he find the second? No, but Austin finds the body shot onto. No, sorry, find the, find the body shot onto Austin. Followed up by a headshot onto Sacrilege, and, the th and then onto Demos as well. Fundo with the 4K, absolutely lethal right now with that upper hand, and uh, they're going to be able to hang on to this. They might be able to win this round back. It's looking a lot more confident um, from Pizza Police so far. That's not Caster's curse this quite yet, but while Fundo was off cleaning up the entirety of Little Team, 31 had about a 20 second long battle with Ollie. Ollie just dancing around all the all the rockets from him. The, oh, Set down. Sorry, interrupt. They're set down. Uh, so the nice oh, backstab. No. Um, Austin now going to have the heal advantage. 50% Uber as well. They've just got to actually plant some players onto the point there. They're just regrouping, buying the time a little bit. They find Sis. Tomas just kind of playing so far apart from the rest of this team. Finally pays for it with his life in the 1v1 against Shades. Um, but now with that big uber advantage, they're just going to walk straight onto the point there, led by Sack. Demos comes in, bomb from 31, but he's so weak already. He did get some decent damage in, but then he, Austin just walks straight into a sticky trap by Redwood. But they've got good damage nonetheless, and surely they can plant themselves onto the point even without Austin. As uh, Seb now on the big uber advantage, about 45% once Austin's on the respawn. Just keep this going, they can make that repush work. They've only got four seconds left, so they're just going to make one good push, and they can secure this round again. Maybe initialize that sort of comeback. It's another crit crits on Seb. This is again a good time to use it. Awesome. It's, now, it's a good time for a pause. pause. It's a good time for a pause, actually. Um, it's a great time for a pause. <laughs> every time's a good time for a pause. Uh, we're just left um, on the edge of our seats as we await this Uber push here. And they, as you say, like that's the that's the Crits Creek coming out on a 70%. Dry push is imminent, though. They make a good opportunity for it. But at the same time, the defense from Lil Team uh, is coming out on the in the form of the respawns there. You've got uh, Ace. You've got uh, Sacrilege as well. They're ready to defend. Um, Demos, not sure where that geezer is. Um, well, is he skulked off? Actually, oh, he's, he's back on the respawn, isn't he? Yeah, so he's getting ready to the respawn. They could hold this off before... Seb gets the crits. It looks like they want to commit to a dry push there. If they can find Seb or they pop up that crit screen, um, they could definitely hold on to this. I think the crucial thing here, though, I think they've actually pushed in a little bit too quickly because Ollie has Redwood right in the center of his scope. And if Redwood goes down, that's going to really, really screw up any of their plans here. They could have just waited another five seconds, I think, got closer to the crits and then pushed in. I mean, laser beams from Ixo are still going to be good into that corner where everyone's grouped up. Multiple people are going to get hit by them. They're going to unpause now. Redwood doesn't die to Ollie, crucially, and the Gerardi play just getting so much damage done. Fundo over the top with some snipes, looking to see what they can get. Ixo just walking into them. The crit stickies into the corner. So much damage being done, and they're going to get this. Perfect push there, actually. Um, 
probably the first good crits push we've maybe seen all game. Um, and it's just when they needed it most as well. They're on the edge of defeat here. But so they're finally sort of getting their uh, act together. Their combo's working a lot better together at the moment. And uh, if Redwood can keep up this damage, uh, we could be seeing a pretty close comeback here. It's got at the same time, though. Little team just got to secure one more round to take this victory. Uh, the pressure is definitely on for both teams, though, as uh, they get ready with uh, Ace playing on that right side. They, someone's got to deal with 31. He finally backs up. Put out some good damage. Demos got taken down against Shades. The Jades followed up. Managed to get that frag onto Spoo. Nebula getting a pick onto uh, Ollie as well there, so it's looking quite good for uh, Pizza Police. As Foz goes in with the bomb, pace for it with his life. But um, now they've surely got to back this up. Often needs to back up now. He's, in, he's not in a great situation here. Uh, he's playing. Now uh, there he goes. He falls down to the crit sticky there, uh, along with Demos and Ace as well. Brilliant crits once again there. Yeah, that was a lot better. Their mid was still a little bit sloppy. They let Redwood die way too easily to Thomas, who just plus forward into plus forward into him. But you know, aside from that, 31 got some good damage out, got a bit of distraction going, enough time for them to get that crits and clean up kills. We could be in for a big comeback here. I do hope so. I mean, well, I hope, so. I hope it brings it brings it to a two-two and make it super super close there. As uh, Thunder gets taken down as well, along with 31 and. Uh, Sis, uh, so the things are coming in for little team now. They do lose Ace, but they've already planted themselves onto the point here with no sign of any uh, resistance from uh, Pizza Police. That was Sebastian. He's so weak, but he's almost he's got left but he's alone. going to fall. Unfortunately, it was just Redwood there, and Redwood was too busy concentrating on his damage output. Wasn't looking out for his medic there, and uh, his medic paid for it with his life. Um, and now Austin is going to have a big Uber advantage. That I think is on the Uber. Um, we we'll just don't know now. Um, yes, it is the Uber there. And um, they might have to pop it off soon. He doesn't want to drop Demos. Is he going to use it? No, he's not. He's going to lose a lot of players. He lost his Sniper. He lost his Heavy and his, uh, and his Demo Man as well before he used off there. I was trying to milk that for way too long. Not the best Uber use there. Um, he's very weak as well. Can he get out with his life? Just gets out with his oh, life there. Picked up by Fox, Ooh, very nice. I mean, to be to be fair to to Austin, there Ace got backstabbed. There wasn't really much he could <laughs> he could do about that. He didn't see the spy coming. They should have called the spy though, because he did get Ollie as well. It's a good play from Nebula, trying to keep his team in it, and they still have the point. Yeah, now the frags are coming back in for uh, little team here as Ixofundo and Nebula all get taken out. They might be able to make this repush work, but they got to regroup. Uh, they lose Ollie and Sun. No, and it seems that they're fragmented at the moment here. Demos is kind of weak as well. He has to back off. He hasn't got his medic with him at all. You don't want to be going there solo. Falls again, just kind of overextending a little bit. Tomas as well. Like, it's so fragmented. They just lost two players. And Tomas just thinks, oh, that's the perfect time to just sprint forward and get himself killed. Bit of an idiotic play coming out from him there. And now they've got this fractured um, combo at the moment that's uh, perhaps in danger by Nebula. He does just gets found out by... Sacrilege, but he actually loses the 1v1. Nebula with the pistol takes him down, and now with 11 health, he's back up and ready to go again. So I say that he gets taken down, but they did manage to get the point. Um, well played by Demos there. Good damage output from him. You might be seeing this crits out from here. Here it is again. Has anyone even noticed it? Austin, he gets out just in time. They do lose Demos, and now he is on the run. Shades. Uh, is hot on his heels, but uh, he has to fall back. He takes a detonator and an arrow and has to fall back there. So Austin uh, getting out with his life. Very nicely done there. Now with 95% Uber, can, Uber can wait on for his respawners and can probably just um, take an easy uh, Uber push in here. Um, and I mean, yeah, really back and forth still. It's a very passive positioning here from Pizza Police. They force the Uber. The trap from Redwood, though, getting Thomas and Sacrilege, and they've completely baited this Uber. Really, no one getting killed at all. Nebula gets the stab, but Redwood gets killed. They have the crits, but it's going to be laser beams if it, if they do pop it up on Ixo. But there's no one really around. Little team have had to back out at this point. And they just can't keep coming into it. They're losing players. They're feeding a lot of players, and. Um, if they just made one succinct push, I mean, I guess that one with that had the sticky traps, but overall they're feeding a lot. So you see, like, their flank are overextending at the wrong times. You see Tomas now, he's already on the back lines, he just ran straight there. And there's a time and place for it. They do find 31, they lose Foz in process there. No soldiers at all, and the Uber then, oh, Chris, sorry, gets popped out. And since the first to go, 
along with Demos. They cannot counter this. Then the laser beams come out, and now Ixo pulls a nice cheeky 5k there. Easy, almost a wipe, I suppose it is, they, with, the, with exception to the flank there. And they can just storm back onto the point there. Now, with 20 seconds left, the pressure is on for Little Team. They need to try and change up their strategy because they are not uh, fighting off this crit. They don't have much time here, there's probably not going to be any Ubers coming into this unless they get people on the point for a while and then it's going to be Seb's crits. Not what you want when you're trying to get onto a crowded control point. The Jurati on them as well is going to make this so difficult to fight. Ace is just taking so much mini crit damage. Ixo just being plus forwarded by Tomas and he's actually going to get him. Redwood's going to be left a little bit high and dry but they're losing so many players to everyone else. The Foz. bomb in from Foz, not going to really get anyone. He's going to get cleaned up by the scout crits from Shade. And it's 2-2. What a comeback, and uh, wow, I think that uh, Little Team were getting a little bit cocky as well, to be fair. When they were 2-0 up, you can see they were playing some cheeky moves there, some questionable strategies, and I'm not sure if they were just being a little bit uh, full of themselves or if they were being daft, but um, either way, now the pressure is certainly on for them to reclaim this. Uh, they do not want to walk away with a third place title here. You want to try and get to those finals, as do you get a piece of police. It is so close. One of the closest matches uh, of importance I've seen for a long time, Gamma, to be fair, in my time of casting. And it is a joy to watch here. Ixo going to fall to Spoo here. 31 doing his job, though, as he finds Ace and Austin. And Foz doing some work as well as he finds uh, Fundo. But uh, still, the point is neutral here. It's just going to be Tomas just playing the point at the moment. Uh, both, I don't know, it was Seb actually got out with his life though. And I think if he's still on the crits, which uh, he is, um, he can be seeing a very nice little crits repush here. The problem with repushing with crits on this map is when the enemy team knows you have it, they can play so far back. They're going to need to come from this um, balcony side or from main maybe. But it's just going to be so difficult for them to get any significant kills besides maybe a demo with this. With this crits, they actually use the crits. They only really get sacrilege with it, and just as I said, really, it's really hard when teams know Chris is coming and they have the point for you to get anything significant with it. Yeah, not the best situation there. Now with Austin on 75%, uh, maybe uh, Little Team have a sort of adapted to the uh, to the Chris playstyle that uh, Peace Police have been using it there. Nebula trying to get that pick onto Austin there, can't find the connecting staff, does get picked off by Tomas. Now, ready for this repush here. We'll see him with 31, he's getting weak though, finally. Uber does come out before 31 dies, and uh, I don't think they wanted to use their Uber off there. Um, it was good damage by 31, I mean, uh, good positioning as well. And, um, it's going to make things a little bit harder for this um, imminent crits push as Seb comes on to 90%. Hasn't died with his crits for a while. Um, we'll be seeing a Redwood play coming out just about now uh, with the rest of Lil Team backing way up. In fact, I think this is their strategy now. They basically give them the points. They've got to try and force off the crits first, um, which they haven't quite done yet. But now they do, and there's nobody there. And that Demos actually picks off too, finding 31 and just so they do find Ace. But that's about it. And uh, now Spoo's in a good position. Does get caught off by Nixo. But once again, it's almost deja vu here. It's Austin now on 90% and taking the exact same route as last time. This time opting to go down the, uh, the under area. He's going to be able to cut off potentially uh, the entire combo as the Uber comes out. Nixo was not expecting that. Can they find Redwood? He surely won't survive that now. He gets found out as well. Seb, however, just absolutely legged it back. Good for him. He's going to hold on to that crit. So we're just seeing him back and forth pace there, but it is sort of working in favour of uh, Lil Team. I mean, obviously they shouldn't have used that crit. And what's more, uh, 31 bombing into that corner should have come that the only person there was Ollie, who he killed. So they didn't need to use that crit at all. They did get Ace at the back end of it. That's because Ace was comes again, though. picking up bad position. The crit comes in. He's not really going to get anything except for a little bit of damage. And they lose Sebastian this time. Sorry to interrupt, but they just lost Sebastian. There's um, Spoo getting a nice little backstab, finally taking down Sebastian after uh, many different crits uses. He finally goes down, and now Austin's going to have an 80% advantage, unless someone can deal with him. Nebula's going to be the one to try and do it, but he gets caught off by Ace. And now they're ready to push this back in. They might not even have to use here, unless there's another good bomb by 31. They lose Demos, though. That's not great for them. But if they can just secure the point, they can pull back a little bit. And with this Uber, uh, they don't have to use it. They can use it defensively. It's going to look very good for them. 
Yeah, definitely. Losing Seb there is just terrible for them. Is he still on crits? He is indeed. So, you know, crits versus Uber, they're going to want to bait this Uber out. It's going to be used. It's going to be used on Tomas. You can just walk directly at him with this invulnerability. Dodging and dying for all he's worth. Seb is actually going to live. He has 65% crits, losing so many players, including Austin. And man, they just went too aggressive in for Seb. They're not focusing any other kills. And instead, they just lose half their team. Bomb coming in from Demos, but he's going to die as well. This full crits up now with the point. They do have a time disadvantage, but with this crits, they could really punish any attempt to capture the point back. It's just good. Either way now, Gamma, and um, with this crits, uh, it could be good if they can get the, if they can get like a, a good little s sneaky drop on them. But um, they know they're on crits, surely. They've just got to play that aggression, deal with Seb. If Spoo can get another good um, bomb in there, however, Spoo actually going down along with Sun. They do find Sis, and now they're just planting stuff onto the point. The crits should be coming out in imminently. Um, and they do the think whip Sebastian falls with the whip kill and then manages to pick up uh, Vando as well. And then Sun just comes in and frags Juicer. Ixo down as well, but Nebula found the pistol onto Austin. But they got the point. Lil D managing to get that point with 40 seconds left. 56 for uh, Ugandan Pizza Police here. Still could definitely go either way. 31, nice bomb. Finds two. And uh, yeah, really good plays there. Now the repush coming in from Pizza Police. There's nothing that Lil Team can do. Uh, now the respawns are coming back in. It's Tomas with Austin on the right, running the quick fix now. Just gonna be trying as many hills out as possible. Ollie with a brilliant headshot onto Redwood. He's gonna open things up. Gotta get this going though now. 40 seconds left, 30 for Lil Team. They're just gonna plant themselves straight onto point. Demos pounding the damage. Sun gets found out. He gets taken down and his sentry saps though. It's not gonna stop Lil Team. They are getting straight onto the point, but let's dive on to uh, Austin is gonna make things so difficult. But meanwhile, um, his ace has just turned up a treat though. He's done so much damage. Found Juicer, found three kills in fact. But uh, wow, they only had that point for like a second or two and then they already lost it again. Mostly down to Nebula's really nice stab onto Austin. Perfect timing there. That was incredibly messy. Just the last minute and just the point going back and forth. Uber is being lost and traded and dropped to whips. Just 10 seconds left now to see if Lil Team can maybe get something. There's a bomb coming in from Falls trying to get some positioning. Walking forward is sacrilege. Not really getting anything done. It's really just a wrangled mini. They're losing everyone and they're actually going to win this. What a comeback. Wow. How did they pull that off? I mean, seriously, uh, that was incredible. Um, from 2-0, they just had to win one more round and they would have taken the victory. But alas, Yana Pizza Police coming back, not one, not two, but three rounds consecutively to take them the map victory and consequently winning them the hot entire match and uh, giving them a spot into the high grand finals up against Tourette's Chess Club. Commiserations to Lil Team. Uh, I'm sure they're a little disappointed and they will be going home uh, with a third place title but I mean valiant effort nonetheless they did come back very nicely after uh, losing 3-0 uh, on product I thought you know this is this is a done deal and um, then had such a successful game on uh, on uh, gully wash and it was looking so good on coal plant as well but uh, alas Uganda Peace Police just just absolutely just by an absolute hair clinched it back and uh, yeah congratulations to them making it into the final it's only taken them eight seasons and uh, I'm sure it's well deserved it definitely is and that was an insane game really uh, we're going to bring up the logs maybe just to see anything of note um, from my own perspective I suppose Nebula did a huge amount of work for uh, Pizza Belize but man what a game I'm just glad I got to watch that to be honest because that was just really edgier seat Highlander action. Just great stuff. Yeah, it's Nebula, great to see. Yeah, Nebula, Nebula the 33 see. kills. I was with the Tomas though, to be fair. Like, oh, um, Tomas. He did do a lot of work. He was behind them quite a lot, actually, to be honest, and they didn't really do anything about it. He was able to plus forward into Redwood quite a few times and get him at key points, particularly at mid-fights. So he did a huge amount of work as well. Yeah, that was that was that quite incredible. He was on the back lines a lot, but at the same time, he was jeopardizing his flank a lot as well. I mean, he died 32 times as opposed to Shades' 19. Um, Foz also died quite a lot. The flank was exposed a heck of a lot. And um, I feel that while Thomas was putting out some good frags, he was also kind of not fulfilling his sort of flank holding task. And that gave 31 opportunities to sort of um, get 
into the back lines and did quite a lot. He was doing a lot of harassment from the back lines. I mean, the logs show 28 to 28, but I think that the kills he was getting were very important ultimately. Um, and then, I mean, is there anyone else really? I think that uh, we just said Shades, but uh, Thunder actually um, turning up big time as well. Uh, 31 to 21 with uh, 25 headshots, but uh, Ollie as well following only three kills behind on 28 kills. Um, uh, actually getting more damage out as well, um, if that's important to you, and more headshots as well. So pretty similar uh, output there from... Oh, no, sorry. Was I looking at... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's that's, that's right. Um, way way more damage. Um, and, yeah, I mean, pretty pretty consistent sniper duel, I'd say, all in all. Oh, when you gamma. Yeah, definitely. As I said, like I played with Thunder a while back. I'm glad that he's got this opportunity to show himself against a sniper like Ollie, who is just so good. Uh, I think Ollie's less kills compared to Fundo in this game is kind of more due to him getting killed. Quite a lot more focused on important times. But, you know, it's just been... It was a great game for both snipers, really, on all maps. They got a lot of work done. Absolutely. And, you know, again, um, commiserations to um, little team... Um, just missing out on the uh, grand finals for high but um i think that is going to wrap it up guys um uh, do you have any shout outs come up before we before we close this down oh i said i'd shout out morgan who's uh, been roster riding on little team uh shout out to kebab vendor as well but that's pretty much it for me i think all righty well um thank you gamma for uh, joining me with this uh, brilliantly brilliant and close game um was not expecting to be that close. it's been an absolute joy to watch and a joy to cast with you um and thank you to we on the back lines as usual um doing so much for the community for the cast there and uh, never really getting to uh, show it show off or you know, do it. He, he doesn't ask for any recognition. So big shout out to him as well. And shout out to you guys. Um, thank you very much for joining us today um, in what has been a very close match. And um, we will see you next time.